There we go. Okay. I think we're finally getting there. So you're probably looking at this and thinking to yourself, what am I seeing here? But here we are. We're back. 15 minutes late. Unbelievable. Basically, I'm just taking a quick peek and making sure seeing when people pop in and we'll start talking then. It's very interesting. I do like the fact that Twitch Studios... Hello and welcome back. <clears throat> that was fun. So apparently I had to restart Twitch Studio and um, Twitch Studio was not recognizing the game, so I had to force recognize it. So. We're back, and if you'll notice, there it is. So I had to force the issue. So that's uh, that's a wonderful thing when these things happen. I really despise when you have to sit there and play with your software to make it do what it should be doing from the get-go. But things happen. It's all good. It's all good. So welcome to the channel yet again. Uh, Lon Paul here, and my channel is going to be Star Wars themed today in the sense that we're going to be talking a lot about Star Wars. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing some gameplay on No Man's Sky, as I said in my um, abandoned live stream a few minutes ago. Uh, we're going to be doing a kind of a split stream. So uh, we're going to do a few hours here over in Twitch just to get the channel going, get used to doing things over here. And as you can see, I've had some technical difficulties already. Um, and then we're going to switch over. We're going to take like a 15, 20 minute break, and then we're going to switch over to YouTube. And do some streaming over there the rest of the day um long long stream it's going to be all day long for me i don't think i'm going to be eating much to be honest with you i've got water i've got a little bit of coffee going here and for me it's just after 9 a.m so it's quarter after nine right now so we're going to see how we can go um so we're looking forward to getting this moving along um it's going to be mostly talking about star wars so we're going to do that um, I've got my Moss Eisley Cantina shirt on. I am all set. I was planning on wearing Jedi robes and all kinds of stuff, but, you know, maybe for the second half of the stream, we'll dig that stuff up and go ahead and do that. So we're mostly going to be doing No Man's Sky. What I'm going to do here, for now, until some people jump in, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of work in here. Let me see here. See, this is my first main save, so I'm going to be probably not touching that. I got my secondary main save and then a new one that I've started. So we're going to be playing on that just a little bit while people pop in little by little. And we enjoy the show just for a little while. And I'll be doing my secondary main save just to do some cleanup, a little bit of organizing. Maybe we'll do some building, things like that. Um, I found something. Let me go ahead and get into the secondary main save. Let me get this going along. And we'll go ahead and talk about that. Welcome, viewers. It's good to have you here. Sorry about the abandoned first part of my um, stream here for 15 minutes, trying to figure out what in the world is going on with Twitch Studio and why it wasn't uh, wanting to see No Man's Sky. But it can see it now because I had to basically restart it and make it force see No Man's Sky. So very interesting. So we'll be talking a lot about Star Wars today. Um, May the 4th be with you, of course. It is the big celebration. Um, gosh, how long has it been? Let me think here. So 1977, Star Wars came out. So we're looking at, what is that, 44 years now? Am I right on that? I think so. Yeah, yeah. It's 43, 44 years. Jeez, it's really been that long. Wow, yeah. 47? I don't even know anymore. I'm losing track. I'm trying to think of how old I was. I think I was six years old when I first saw Star Wars in the theater. Um, yeah, something like that. And I remember distinctly going to see it at least twice at that age. Um, 
And then 1980, waiting three whole years for Empire Strikes Back to come out. My word, that was... Whew, that was a long roll to get there. Uh, what is my watch telling me? Oh, hush. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> All right. It's telling me I need to get up and get moving. It's already, you know, hey, I just got here. Come on. Um, I had done the anomaly mission on Friday with my character here, but for some reason it says that there's an anomaly mission. So why don't we do that? Why don't we start? I'll do the anomaly mission with my main character here, my, my secondary save. I did the um, video yesterday with my tertiary save. Um, I wanted to start getting moving on that. I haven't done it yet on this one, so let's just go ahead and do it as kind of a uh, in-between sort of thing. Uh, looks like we're still on everything ancient bones. I'm going to get some plasma out of this. So that's pretty cool. Um, an 1800 Quicksilver, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. We'll get that going. There we go. And I think out of the three original movies, uh, four, five, and six, as a kid, I loved Return of the Jedi the most, I think, personally. Um, as I've grown up, I think I've found that I like um, Empire Strikes Back a little bit better because of the fact that it ties together a lot of the things between four and six. So, and granted, I don't expect a whole lot of folks to be showing up here today. Um, there are so many other streamers that are streaming on Twitch. Of course, they've got all kinds of gaming going on. They've got uh, a lot of um, loyalty built up amongst people and being a newer. Newer streamer on Twitch, it would be hard to get some more people to watch over here. Plus, I got my morning voice going on, as you can hear. Plus, my hair isn't even right right now. It's freshly washed and plastered down to my head. Not much I can do there. All right. So we're supposed to go to this planet. You know, I, what I want to do here, even though it's telling me to go... Where's it telling me to go? All the way over there. I'm going to head over here. It really doesn't make a difference what side of the planet you go to. I just feel like going to the light side of the planet today. Because I'm a light side guy. I'm not a dark side guy. Let's just go a little further. It looks like there's a storm going on on the planet right now. There we go. Uh, let's just pick a spot. I know I don't. I know for a fact that there's not a whole lot of land down here. I gotta look carefully. Looks like there's some over there. Okay, good. Maybe the storm's clearing up. Or maybe I'm just getting a good view. We'll see what happens here. Let's bring it in. Damn! I keep forgetting how fast this this ship is. <laughs> You've entered the planet itself. All right, all right, all right. Easy, easy. It's hard to see anything when it's when it's stormy like this on these planets, and I don't see anything around. So let's just go ahead and land someplace not on one of the floating rocks. It's a pain in the neck to get back to your ship there. There we go. All right. I was going to do a little polio today. I was going to start with that and then switch over, but I'm like, you know what? It's Star Wars Day. Why do we? Why would we do that? Polio is a great game. I really, really like playing it. Storm's clearing. Okay, so we're going to get down from the 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Good grief. All right, so let's take a look around. We need to find some bones. Anything else? I just want to see if there's any, any more around here. So we may have to come back and grab our ship and go elsewhere. The one problem about getting bones here, and I notice it's asking me to get 12, just like on my other character. So I guess that little theory of... I don't need any of that. You know, the, the longer saves, the ones that have more hours and more upgrades and all that stuff, is not really true that you would have more bones to click to collect, so we don't have to worry about that. Hello, little, little popper. Boink. Yeah. Oh look, it's unburied technology. It's always grab it's always good to grab it if it's uh, right out there in the open. Alright. Moving on to the bones. Don't fall down the hole. There we go. Come on. Oh. I've got you, huh? Let's switch, shall we? 
Uh, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Do we want to use a skull or do we want to use an Atlas Scepter? Let's go with Atlas Scepter. There we go. Very manipulator. Okay, now we're cooking with a uh, gas here. Wow, one whole bone. Ooh, but you know what? This is one of those very, very expensive ones. Yeah, buddy. Almost 2,000 years old. Sweet. Who just blew up? You? Goodbye. Goodbye. There. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright. Way to take out some of the flora if you're, if you're getting yourself pounded by it. Alright. Let's see. So, um, yeah, too weak. That's what I thought. Let's bring our ship back in. Let's take a ride somewhere else now that we don't have any storms affecting us. And we can move on. Coffee done. I can wake up all the way now. Yeah, I let time get away from me this morning. Normally I would have had everything set up and I'd be sitting around pondering the universe while I uh, drink my coffee and for some reason, next thing I know, I'm showering and I'm looking at the time and I'm like, wait a minute, does that say it's 10 to 9? What the heck? When did I get in the shower so late? But it is what it is. Hey, landing pad. I'll take it. Doo -doo -doo. So far, everything looks like it's doing okay. And we're out. All right, let's take a look. Oh, my, yeah. Okay, we got a good spot here. Let's start with this one. 200 units away. We got bones all over the place here. All right, good, good, good. We should be able to get everything here. Uh, looks like we got two. Clear out some debris. Get it all out of our way. This one looks like... Hmm. Wow. Okay. You know, what's my inventory look like? I don't even look, because my inventory tends to be a mess most days. Yeah, that's what I thought. Am I going to be able to get all 12 in here? What in the world? Where did I get the leopard fruit from? <sighs> Do you have any idea what you're doing? No, not a clue. Alright, moving on. Alright. Alright. Wink. All right. Next, let's see. We got one over here. About 600 away. Looks like there's one over here at about 750. Okay, let's go to this one and we'll come back to the ship. Afterwards, because there's a lot more bones to be had. Just take care of something real quick while I stand here immobile. Of course. go. All right. <laughs> now for those of you watching the video after the fact, I love these storms because your jetpack efficiency goes way up. 
And we can just do things. Now we're getting a little bit of stagger step. I don't know what's going on. There shouldn't be that much resources used on my computer, and it doesn't appear to be. Uh, where are we here? Going down. It should be a lot easier to get back to our ship now. Wow, okay, this is quite a hill. I'll just run the rest of the way. Ah, all this for one bone, really? That is what it is. Let's just go ahead and take it. And a cheap one at that. Ugh. Alright, let's head back to the ship. Come on, up the hill. Come on, maggot, move it. And for anyone else who's joined over here, hello. Or should I say, hello there. So we'll be talking all Star Wars today. Especially as more and more folks pop in, we're going to be asking questions. You know, I love to do a poll that says, hey, what's your favorite movie or what's your favorite uh, series or something like that. And man, there are just so many from Star Wars. The poll would be ridiculous. So it'll be more of a chat. You know, hey, chat in. What is your favorite movie? What did you like the most? Personally, my, my favorite right now has got to be Rogue One. I mean, granted, I know it's a, you know, everybody dies in the end type of thing. But, still a fabulous, fabulous movie. Alright, here we go, we're back. Alright, what do we got? This one. 727, and then we got another one over here at 879. Yeah, we'll take care of that real quick. And I'm using my jetpack because, well, I can don't have to use any... Uh, Launch fuel from my ship at all. I know I'm on a landing pad right now, but this makes it a little bit easier. And thank you folks for joining. It's nice to have you here. As you can see, we got everything back together again. I had to force Twitch Studios to work properly. It's like we can't see anything. All you see is a character with his jetpack blasting away in the, in the atmosphere here. Redonkulous. These storms pretty bad. Alright, here we go. Back on the ground. Really a one bone location again. I was hoping for a multi bone. And it's probably one of the cheap ones. Indeed it is. Alright. So we're going to go back to the ship because there was one about 900 blocks away from the ship. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. So go ahead and get some coffee while we take the trip back. Read the newspaper. If any of you even know what the hell that is. Sorry. Alright. So, I, like I said, I think, you know, obviously as a kid, watching the very first Star Wars movie in 77 was incredible. There was nothing ever like it before. Granted, you had other movies. You know, obviously they tried to do other things. Star Trek had been around since the 60s, and there have been a great many other types of sci-fi stuff that dealt with space. And that's all fine and dandy. Lost in space and things like that. So that's all great. But Star Wars was really one of those things that, you know, Lucas really had, had it going. He knew exactly what needed to happen. He had a plan. He ran with it. He didn't tell anybody to do anything different. Didn't take crap from anybody in regards to what he needed to do. Screen Actors Guild, things like that. So, something else. Hey, good morning, good morning. Nope, we're going to do all, all space-based. I'd love to, you know, and I was thinking to myself, you know, this, this could be Star Wars themed over here. Good to have you here, by the way, you thunder. Ouch, I just ran into a rock. Um... It would be great to do, like, a Star Wars game or something like that, but, uh, and it's granted, I, in Steam, I've got many different Star Wars games, of course, but I figured we would just stick to No Man's Sky, because I haven't done No Man's Sky in a while. Um, as far as a live stream, I did one, you know, last weekend or the, or the week before or something like that, and it was all great and dandy, but this is definitely a space-based game, and it, it captured my heart a long time ago. So I'm going to stick with No Man's Sky today. I probably should have called my ship in. Oof. Just enough time. And look, one more bone again. Good grief. It's just killing me here. All right. And nothing around. All right. Let's pull the ship in because we're not getting what we want. But thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I was having some issues with getting it to stream earlier. So I'm just stuck here. <laughs> it 
So we're going to do strictly No Man's Sky today. We're going to do this for a few hours over here, and then we're going to switch over to YouTube sometime. Right now it is about 9.30 Eastern Time, and in about 12.30, 1 o'clock, I am going to take a break. And then we're going to switch over, and that break will allow me to grab something to eat. Um, and then we're going to switch over to YouTube and do the rest of the stream over there for the rest of the afternoon. For me, it is. I'm not sure what time it is where anybody else is. Not asking. That's maybe a little bit too personal. I don't know. I don't know how folks feel about that. Decided I'm going to land at the top of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm going too fast. Shot. Need my wife. Okay. Anyway, sorry. All right. Well, we got a lot of bones right in front of me. Okay. Good. We'll go ahead and take those. <laughs> good. <laughs> so, like I said, you know, Star Wars was one of those main movies. Um, gosh. gosh. I'm trying to remember everything I can back, back then. It's just, it's so long ago. And then there's... Like I said, Empire Strikes Back to me was like, ew, kissing. You know, for crying out loud, I was like, what, nine years old or something like that when it came out? So, to me, it was like, eh, you know, I wasn't much into the... Um, great, another one bone location. Come on, can you give me a multi-bone location here? It was, to me, you know, just one of those things where uh, I wasn't so much into that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, flying through an asteroid field and everything like that. You know, then the sock puppet jumps out and tries to grab him. And I don't know. To me, it wasn't as, wasn't as fabulous a thing. Come on. Oh, great. Another cheap ancient bone. And one. One again. Really? Nothing. All right, pull the ship in. That's pretty neat. It got me uh, like, like some sort of beacon umbrella here. Happens in this weird atmosphere. That's funny. <laughs> Alarms going off, sorry. All right, we got eight bones out of 12. We need four more to collect to complete this out. And then maybe we'll do... I don't know. Maybe we'll do a permadeath run. Uh, let's see. This looks like a good enough spot. Let's park over here. And we're out. All right, where are we here? Okay, there's one straight in front of me at 800. I'm actually going to take the ship over there. Now, I don't know if Twitch is actually showing me accurate information, but you know, I, have I really lost everybody? The four, five, six people that were here are suddenly all gone? You Thunder, you're still there? Yeah, I saw that. Mark Hamill dropping by the White House. I got these aviator glasses from Joe. <laughs> Joe B1 Kenobi, come on. Even I cringed a little bit. Alright, so we got a two bone location here. That was pretty good. Uh, let's see. Two. Too much. Where be my ship? Arr. No, no pirates. Although, you know, if you think about it, I think that. No, Han Solo wasn't a space pirate. He was definitely just a smuggler. Let's go down here a little ways and we'll see if we can find our last two freaking bones. That was the one thing that made this particular anomaly mission such a pain is the fact that nothing is ever close by, so. All right, we got one here. 929 blocks away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't see a blessed thing, you know that? <laughs> this planet sucks. I don't like this planet at all. 
Okay, you've landed in the soup. Get out and look for stuff. And again, and just one bone. Ah, you're killing me here. Looks like a decent one, though. Okay. Okay, give me one more. Too weak. Of course it's too weak. Never gonna happen. The other way, please. Looks like we got water everywhere here. So we're at the edge of probably an ocean. We've got a communication station up ahead, so at least there's some land down there. I'm going to head in that direction and see what I can find, and then I just want to complete out this mission at this point. This is taking way too long. Shouldn't have taken this long. And even the one I did uh, Friday night was, what, it took almost 25 minutes to get it done? reef. Alright, I can't even see the land. Wow. Seven hundred. One hundred and fifty-two. At least we landed close to some stuff here. See, this would have been a great place to land for starters. And again, just one bone in the ground, but... Since I only need one, it should be alright. There we go. And it's a cheap one. Okay. Not a problem. We are done, I believe. We just need to bring these to Polo's friend. Osteologist or something like that. Do a quick scan. Oy. Great if the storm ended right about now. I can see where I'm going. Oh, didn't refresh. You've been missing the stream. Sorry, Sai. <laughs> I had to shut down the stream completely and restart it because I'm using Twitch Studio to stream this because it is, it, it, by itself it's easier. It gives you so much data regarding everything in, in regards to your computer and everything else, plus I've got the chat window open and everything like that. Um, but it just had a problem. It normally auto-finds the game that is playing, that you have playing on your main screen. And this time it wasn't, and it, I had to force it to find it. And being as unfamiliar with that program as I am with, say, OBS or, or, or any of the others that I've been using, so, the Viking grunts a hello. They neither question who sent me nor offer an explanation for why they are out here alone. They do, however, seem to understand the nature of what I brought them. So, scan those fragments. Lieutenant Gozuo Heko <laughs> quietly runs a device across several of the samples handling the remains with a profound respect. They return the bones and transmit the scan data directly into my suit, ready to deliver to the Nexus. Done. Finally, get off this forsaken planet. Please let me into my ship. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get off this planet and get out of here. And boom. Oh, blessed space. Grief. I don't like that planet at all. Me, when I try to pronounce the names in No Man's Sky. How about, how about no? <laughs> Indeed. Marani, greetings and salutations to you as well. Dragonfire, good to have you. I am Dragonfire. <laughs> good to have you all here. Thank you very much for joining me. For those who are new over here, who have not seen me on YouTube, I do YouTube streaming most of the time. Stream on YouTube most of the time? I think that sounds better. And I'm kind of new to the Twitch scene. I'm trying to get used to it. Complete the mission. Unstable plasma. And what else? 1800 Quicksilver. And it's not giving me anything else but those two. Okay, well that's fine by me. Alright, and it was at 66% in the Quicksilver store. Let me just double check that real quick. Boink. And I started to say... Let's see, we're at 73. So it's gone up about 6%, uh, 7, 7% since then. I don't... We'll probably complete Tier 2... And then Tier 3 will probably complete sometime next week. If they decide to come out with the expedition next week, it would be kind of nice. 
Is there an expedition coming? Yes, there's an expedition coming. They come out with four of them every year. They always happen around this time of year. Every single year. Everybody makes a big hype about, is it going to come? Are they going to do it this time? Yes, they're going to do it this time. They always do it this time. All right, everybody calm down. Anyway, thank you all for joining us. I appreciate you being here. Welcome to the channel. Please feel free to follow. Not subscribe, because subscribe is different over here than it is follow. So follow over here, not subscribe. Yeah, got to get used to that stuff. All right, now I'm going to actually head out with my ship because there's a planet I wanted to check out real quick in my original system. I keep seeing this planet, and I keep thinking to myself, hmm, this could be a good planet. So, planet for what? We'll see. Uh, what's your YouTube? <laughs> you know, I noticed that uh, Streamlabs is not posting any of my messages I told it to post. So, yay, Streamlabs. All right. What is my YouTube channel? Alon Paul. How's that? I can give you a link, though. Give me a second when we get out of this particular screen, and I'll go ahead and type it in, because it kind of screws things up. And let me show you the planet real quick, and then I'll post that link. So the planet I'm talking about, see, if I head towards the space station... Yay! See the space station? Yay! Um, let me just see if the planet is here. It's icy. Where's the other one? Marshy. That wasn't it either. Was it this one? Nope. Oh, don't tell me I missed it. Messed it up. Come on. Sometimes you got to be in first person. I think I messed it up. Crud. The planet in question was a low atmosphere. There it is. With aggressive sentinels. Me thinky, this is a good place for a sentinel battle. Because the low atmosphere lends to some fun. Anyway, let's hit escape real quick. Let's jump over here. So, yeah, I know the chat rules. I'm the. I love when it pops up and says, hey, here's some rules for chatting. Ah, you pain in the neck. Yeah, Streamlabs, yes, indeed. How about no? Anyway. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Uh, looks good. Okay, and I think that'll work. How's that? Let me try it myself. <laughs> Not found. <laughs> Let's try something different. Hold on a second. Uh -huh. Much better doing it this way. Skip that one. Go with this one. There we go. And we're going to... No, I don't want to do that. Get out of the way. There we go. So that is my channel. And thank you, Streamlabs, for not helping me. <laughs> and we're back. There we go. All right, so moving over to the low atmosphere planet. Um, as you know, I'm a big fan of having like a sentinel base set up where I can... Um, basically harvest sentinels for nanites. It's not the easiest way to get nanites. It is definitely a more difficult way, but as I put it, for me, it's the fun way. Let's see. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, now I don't think, see this is one of those cold planets, but I don't think there's going to be much on this planet at all. So we're going to have to check it out, and I want to know if Sentinels are actually going to show up. So let's go ahead and land. I don't think we're going to find any kind of uh, place to land here. I don't think there's any buildings or anything like that. Ancient bones are on this planet, too, so it makes it kind of a good place to get stuff. Yeah, right? Right? You think this ship is good? I'm going to show you a ship that will really sh show off its drifting capabilities. Okay. Tell me when. So let's check out the multi-tool real fast. Just make sure I've got everything in order. What are we using anyway? Yeah, let's let's switch out for this multi-tool. I'm going to change, choose a different one. Uh, nope, nope. Well, hmm, that might be a good one. Let's check it out. Yeah, got th all four supercharged slots right here, doing about 130,000 damage. We're going to have a little fun with this guy. Mm -hmm. Do -do 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 -do. Neutron cannon. And a sentinel did pop up. 
Hi there, buddy. Goodbye. Alright, so we're going to have a little fun here first. We're going to shut down these sentinels, and then I'll be creating a base. Where are you? There you are. So I'm not going to do a full-out sentinel battle yet, um, which means I would leave this guy running. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of him. And I'm not really too concerned about things. Here we go. Yeah, hold still. There we go. And the best part about this is the low atmosphere. You can stay aloft indefinitely. Watch my jetpack recharge. See, I never have to hit the ground. Why does the gun hit so hard? It is a supercharged. It is one of the most powerful guns in the game. And the weapons themselves, those weapons as far as output is concerned, is one of the most hairiest ones you can possibly get. And I'm not one-shotting most of these guys, but you see there's an area of effect damage. See, I got him and him at the same time. Goodbye. I don't want you calling anybody else in. Thanks. No, my inventory is getting kind of full. I may have to pull in my freighter and empty some stuff out. Alright, where do I want them to appear? Let's have them appear over here. Yeah, yeah. Of course, Marani, Neutron Cannon is the way to go. Oh, there you are, guys. Hi. One. Two. Three. Hey. What do you think you're doing? He's gone. It's very hard to do this while floating. Anything else? Uh, what did I do? I went to first person, sorry. Go ahead, get close. Got you both. <laughs> you want to really add some excitement in? Pick up one of these whispering eggs. He disappeared. Got him. Can't disappear for me. Hey, let's add some of those guys in. Have some fun. Chaos. One, two, what oh, missed him? Two, three, four, and up oh, five. We'll go do it in six, okay. This isn't the most powerful weapon I have. I do have another multi tool that has more power to it, but that's okay. Doo -doo -doo. This makes it easier when you're up in the air like this. Anybody else? Got some Gravitino Balls we can get here. Looks like we're waiting for reinforcements. This should be level 5, so this should be a lot of fun. Bugs. I just want to shut off the sentinels for now. There he is. Where'd the other guy go? There you are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It should be a little closer, but that's okay. Oh, hey, you guys popped up. I like to get rid of these guys first. That two-legged walker isn't going to hurt me too much. I just took out one of his legs by accident. I got to get him out of there. He's got to walk around. It literally landed on my head. Okay. Let's get him to follow me just a little bit. I need to get him out of that hole. See what I mean? He's kind of glitching out over there pretty bad. 
Really? Did I take out the one leg so now he's just going to walk around in circles? Oh. Missed one. Alright, let's take out the rest of this guy here. <laughs> there we go. Hold still. You're rocking all over the place and you're throwing off my mojo here, man. Got him. Down you go. Got a walker brain. And one, two. Walker brain. Good deal. Walker brains. And that is the end of the show. Alright, very good. So where is our... Wow, they put the sentinel pillar on another planet. That's fascinating. Alright, so that takes care of them. <laughs> where me ship out? Now, did I get all the... I think one fell down a hole someplace. Let me just check here. The combat supplies. This one there. Just check the ground real quick. I don't see any others. So I did miss one. Not that I need any more, but... There we go. I think it's time to pull in the old freighter, like I said. Plus, it helps me get some more building supplies. So I think this is going to be a good planet for some of this stuff. Um, too bad I can't find some place interesting to build in. This looks pretty good. Too bad it's not a, like four times bigger. If it was four times bigger, it would be really, really interesting. But the fact that it's so small may not work out really well. We shall see. I guess it really doesn't make a difference where we build at this point. Let's jump in the ship and take a look. Uh, I'm pulling the freighter real quick. <laughs> Maybe we'll select a different ship. Which is our dreadnought, of course. There she is. And let's wait for the flotilla of other ships to slowly appear. There we go. All right. Uh, the other ship I was going to tell you about. Where are you? Select. Uh, you, you, you. Where are you? Hunter, yes. Starboard run the starboard runner is very fast, but this and has good maneuverability. There's just something about this little sentinel ship that just makes it so much faster. Let's do it. So, first things first, to get an idea of how fast these ships go. Get a little lower. So we're doing about 400 knots, if you will. We switch to engines, we can boost it up to about 465. These ships are super, super fast. And you want to talk about drifting? I can stay off the ground a little bit. We're literally flying sideways at this point. This ship drifts like no other ship I've ever flown before. And it's just fast as all crap. I've never flown such a fast ship in this game before. And the destructive power from its weapons is incredible. So, let's bring it in and take a look around. Nice. Alright. This seems to be kind of a level playing field in here. This looks like it'd be pretty good. And we can gather up as many Gravitino Balls as I like and nobody attacks me. I love it. Alright, so let's see. I'm just going to do something very simple here. We don't have to do anything really, really big. Uh, well, we'll need a base computer first, of course, won't we? Uh, this looks good. Really, nobody else has claimed a spot? How odd. There we go. Hmm. And 
there we go. And hopefully, it, once I get this all established, we're going to go ahead and jump over and do like a permadeath run. I think we'll go ahead and do that. That sounds like fun. Now, I'm not going to do a like regular building like this. I'm just going to stick to doing something like this. I think the round room would be best. Let me see. Do I have... Yeah. Let's do this real quick. This is just a frame. It allows me to build off the ground a little bit. Let's stick it near the computer real quick here. Uh, this looks pretty good right about here. Okay. And then... Back the other way. Thank you. That looks pretty good. Nope. I just want to get myself out of the way while I do all the rest of this. Uh, let's see. I need a ramp coming down from... Oh, we'll need a door first, obviously. I think a hollow door would be the best. All right. I think it would be good here. And then a ramp coming down. And we'll just multi-ramp it all the way down. I'm not much of a builder. If you want to watch building, you watch Beeblebum. Beeblebum's the builder in uh, No Man's Sky. Ain't me. If you're going to do permadeath, you could do a fugitive run. Wow, yeah, right? I probably could. I've never actually completed a fugitive run. Um, so that makes it a little more difficult. Uh, we could do that. It's been a while since I've actually played the fugitive run, so I'd have to pull up the rules and get familiar with them again. Um, so that's going to be kind of tough. But yeah, we could probably try that out. And then, you know, if we don't complete it, we don't complete it. Because there's no way to really complete it. It takes too long. It's a multi-episode type of thing. So even though we're streaming for many hours today, it's going to take a long time to get through that. So, yeah, that's a possibility. Remember, it was subject to tweaking if you want or need to. There's actually, I think, four or five different levels to the tweaking on that. Uh, from beginner's version all the way to more advanced. So, yeah, that's that's a different thing here. So we'll see what happens. Indeed. <clears throat> Indeed. Um, let's see. So uh, here we are. We're doing all this here. I'm creating all this stuff on here. And the first thing I mentioned at the beginning of the stream is that we'd be talking about Star Wars. Um, so <clears throat> let's talk. So me and my son just watched... Uh, the last episode of Bad Batch. If any of you haven't seen that, hang on just a second. Yeah, the morning voice doesn't always do so well. Um, and if any of you haven't seen it, I mean, honestly, Star Wars is so much more. You think about, like, the animated series Clone Wars, all seven seasons of that, and you're thinking, uh, yeah, a kid's show. If any of you thought it was a kid's show, watch it. Please, because it really starts tying things together. First few seasons are slow, but it starts tying everything together. As you start, especially once you get into uh, season four or five, say, and you start to see the depth of the show and how much it's tying everything in that you saw between um, uh, what do you call it, the Clone Wars movie and Revenge of the Sith, <clears throat> and Ahsoka, how she plays into all this. So. It's been really, really neat. Um, I need power for the structure, so... I don't know. Will that work? I don't know if it'll work. It's nighttime, so we wouldn't really be able to tell. Yet. So I'm going to get a couple of these going real quick here. And then, once you're done with Clone Wars... Clone Wars introduces Bad Batch, but I would strongly recommend <clears throat> seeing Rebels... I think four seasons of that. Um, I am temporarily going to put in a biofuel reactor. I don't know any metal plates. Come on. There we go. Yeah, talk about a full inventory, huh? I'm actually... You're going to hate me for doing this. Hmm. I'm still not quite at peak, huh? Okay, that's no big deal. We're just going to get rid of some of this stuff. I don't need it. No, not you. Stay there. Uh, let's see. We need a metal plate. Create a few of them just to play it safe. It's going to keep bouncing me down. I don't know why it does that. There, that's fine. I don't need that many, but that's okay. I just want to get this thing going. Technology reached 
There we go. So now we have a little power to the unit here. Boink. And we're going to rename the base here in just a minute. Let's put in a portal. Really? I'm sorry, you thunder. Because David Filoni has been an absolutely fabulous uh, director for Star Wars. Um, the last few series have been amazing. Bad Batch really was kind of a very tight series. It really was. And Rebels, oh my gosh. It's been good stuff. I mean, but I, but I completely understand. I understand where you're coming from. Not everybody wants to see Disney take over everything. Oh, you're just going to drive me nuts. We're not going to do it perfectly here. Missing components. What am I missing? Oh, carbon nanotubes. Duh. There we go. Okay, so we have a portal here now. Let me see how much power is required. Of course. Yes. So we'll have to do one more of those. Unbelievable. I do like the fact that when Lucas sold it to Disney, he donated the money. I thought that was really, really good. He just took the, however, what is it, a billion dollars that he sold the Star Wars franchise for, and he just donated it. The guy was already filthy rich. He didn't need the extra money, so I'll give it a try one day. Well, be you. By all means, don't push yourself to do things you don't feel comfortable doing. If you're not comfortable with it because you have a, 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 you're completely against Disney, hey, you know, not a problem, man. All right. Uh, do I need anything else in here? Probably not. I could probably put some life support units in and stuff like that. Let me see here. Do I find you over here? Yeah, there you are. Health stations. And then maybe one hazard protection unit. Get your shields back to normal. Uh, we don't need electrical cloaking units because I'm not running wires everywhere. Okay, that should be good. So, that is it. And now we have a base that we can go to whenever we want to do a low atmo nanite farm. Um, I don't want to do that. Why is it doing this? This this save is like old. All right. So we're going to call this the low atmo, uh, let me see, sentinel nanite farm. There we go. Okay, good deal. So now I got that set up. Three radiant pillars in the anomaly. A lot of new people are playing. There's a lot of new people. Out, and uh, to be honest with you, the radiant pillar is becoming a very classical ship to hang on to so when you start new saves a lot of people like to hang on to it completely understand i mean it's kind of like you know keeping that classic car in the garage and every now and then you take it out for a test spin on the weekends so so it's pretty cool stuff all right i don't think i even have that i've got a whole bunch of other ships but i do not have a radiant pillar anymore on any of my saves to be honest no it would be really cool is if they did an expedition where they gave out like a golden radiant pillar instead. That would be pretty cool. Kind of like the golden vector they did on the uh, first expedition. I think that would be really, really neat. Oh, you know what I could use? I could use a landing pad. I didn't even think about that. So we need nine more metal plates and two microprocessors. Let's do that real fast. Uh, what do we need? I think I would have had this stuff already built up at some point. Yeah, that's all, right. that's all I needed. And we'll do this over here, I guess. I'm not going to attach it to the structure. I'll just put it on the ground. Yeah, let me pull back so I can see what I'm doing. That yeah, looks good. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. And my ship be over there. That's perfectly fine. We'll use the little guy to get back. Okay. So that should do it. 
I got that done. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to go ahead and finalize this particular play at my main sky base, I think. Got to find it first. Got so many bases these days. We're getting there. Hold on. It's amazing. That might be it. Yeah, that's it. Not the sky base mark two. I'm going to probably delete that one. I put that on a low atmo planet like this and it just kind of doesn't look right. I don't know what it is about it. So, Faith based quack. I wonder what is the 8 gigabyte plus patch. I doubt it's just bug fixes. Wait and see I guess. I agree. I think there's more hidden in there. They just haven't flipped the switch. So I think the expedition's coming really soon. Will it be this week? I don't know. You know, as far as, you know, after this week, sometime Wednesday, Thursday, it starts getting activated. I don't know. I'm not sure. It may be the following week. Um, I seem to recall, and I'm going to have to go back and look, but I seem to recall that the expedition happened in May, and it was around the second week, and I could be wrong, you know, as the case may be. Lemley is my home planet, by the way. Um, this is in the, not the Euclid galaxy. Yep name completely escapes me as far as which galaxy this is in and I know it's not going to tell me Eisentum, thank you Faith Space Quack, good grief ah, yes Eisentum Galaxy, this is a paradise planet and one of the prettiest planets I've ever been on to be honest with you I decided to go ahead and do myself a nice sky base up here with uh, you know plenty of accoutrements and stuff like that including some hidden stuff down below to do some you know other things but it is one of the prettiest planets I've ever been on um, I love the color of the planet I love the lighting of the planet um, whoop hello okay it's just, it's very, very pretty. I mean, the yellow sky is just a bit much, but it's got the nice blue waters, the green, uh, the green grass and everything like that. But when, and instead of regular trees, it has all these like mushroom style trees that, and all of it glows at night. It's all glowing. So you can't see it from up here because I'm a little too high. Um, so I get a little bit of vertigo from high places. And I don't know what it is about certain video games, but every now and then, I get a little bit of a vertigo feeling when I jump off of a platform like that. And I know I'm not going to get hurt. Ignore that platform we just passed. It was a placer. It's not like I'm going to die or anything. There we go. And this is what I love about this planet. It's just the fact that everything on it glows. And it's a rolling glow through the grasses and stuff like that. So, I really like this a lot. Paradise Planet, there's nothing really dangerous here, except there is a f certain creature in the water that likes to nibble at you once in a while. That's about it. Red, red and purple grass bubble planets. Yeah, the bubble planets. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I think one of my planets that I have one of my uh, uh, nanite farms on uh, for the uh, curiosities ha is, all, is a bubble planet, if I remember correctly. Um, so many bases, you know, after you've been playing for 3,000 hours, it just it all blends together after a little while. So, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and we just grab my ship here. I don't know why I'm going into that menu, just ignore it. Um, let me pull my ship back in, get a save point, and then we'll go ahead and uh, exit and start a nice run at a permadeath run. There we go. All right. I don't know why base computer archives are suddenly kicking back in again. I've completed this game so many times are over. It's ridiculous. So, but anyway, mode select. Back. There we go. So, back to the play. And to do this, um, I got two main saves, by the way. I got this first main save that I started back in 2019, I think. And then I started a new save altogether because I had some issues with it. So I started a whole new save, and that's the one I mainly use now. I started this one just recently, and I'm doing a series on it. So I'm not going to keep jumping into it this time. So we're going to do a new game. Yeah, see the expedition. Can't do it. 
sorry. And we're going to do our own custom game here. So we want to do the fugitive run, huh? Yeah, that's going to be fun. Let me see if I can't pull up the rules again and we can go through it. Uh, let me see. Oh, actually, I don't want to do it over there, do I? No. Hang on just a second. I'm pretty sure I did not put them on my desktop anywhere. You ever get to a point where you realize you really need to clean up your desktop? Because you have so many icons for different games and stuff. Let me try checking, because I think I actually made a copy of it somewhere. Really? It is? Oh, yeah, because I was in the wrong one. All right, let's search. Nope, I didn't. Okay, I'm pretty... I didn't think I did. Let me check my... Evil Bum's Discord channel, and we'll pull up the rules, and we'll talk about it. There we go. Well, I should have to update. I haven't opened up Discord in a little bit. But of course, it has to update. This may take just a moment. It's already done updating. Hold on. Oh, now it has another update. That's strange. I, I mean, when I say a little bit, I mean it's been like a week. Yeah, starting. Thank you. Well, at least I could get a little bit hydrated there, so that's good. And for all you newcomers, thank you for stopping in and saying hi. We appreciate it. By all means, hit that little follow button down below. You don't have to subscribe. I don't even think I have that set up. It's not important, though. All right, let's see. So I need to go to... Beeble bum, and we're gonna go to his game challenges. Uh, let's see here. So that is his stranded run. I love the stranded run because it's it's something I can complete. Hmm. Give me half a second here. My wife's out of town, and she's currently just saying good morning. She's in a different time zone, so. At the moment. There we go. Gotta say hi, though. All right. So here's a fugitive run. All right, let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, in this challenge, <clears throat> pay attention. In this challenge, you will be playing as a fugitive on the run from the Galactic Authorities. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, love how we put that in there, is to navigate your way through the galaxy to avoid being captured. With limited resources, constant danger, it is up to you to survive and make your daring escape. So, are you ready to take on the challenge? Okay. You start off as a fugitive with a backstory that you can create yourself. So, you may be innocent, framed for a crime you didn't commit, notorious space criminal, whatever you want. In order to fully immerse yourself, it is important that you follow the rules as they are presented. As the game itself will not punish you for non-compliance, it is imperative that you stay in the spirit of the challenge. So basically, we want to go on this challenge, and we want to go with the idea that we're, it's up to us to stay, um, I guess, keep the ethics, if you will, to keep morally set on doing this right. Because if you screw up, completely up to you to do the right thing. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, they may seek loophole. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. Embrace your, the, embrace the frustration and the satisfaction that comes with overcoming obstacles. All right, so here's the document. Follow the link. Except it's right here. What do you know? Well, I'll be. He put it into here. I didn't realize that. Um, I am going to. It's saved to my own drive. I'm just saving it real quick. Select the location. Hold on just a second here. Okay, there it is. 
Good. All right. Uh, let me get past all that nonsense. Hold on just a second here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six levels. Yes, I was right. So we got easy, medium, ambitious, hard, extreme, and insane. So there we are. <laughs> Marani, um, that might be difficult because if drops are not active, it's kind of a pain in the neck to do it. Um, I have a link that I could send you. I don't know if I have it active on here yet because I I already have it linked. Everything's linked with that and Polya and any, any other game that I play that I get drops on. So, yeah. So I'll, I may have to send that to you. Let me finish reading this through, and we'll go through that. Level 5, Alon, who really needs a HUD anyway? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think that's the insane, right? No HUD. Yeah, let's go back to extreme. Okay, so insane is no HUD. Um, we will still be sitting here a week from today <laughs> if we do the no HUD version of it. I'll tell you that right now. Um let me just look at the extreme one real fast. Uh, disable the tutorial. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Cannot use teleporters. We know that. Can't visit the anomaly. Avoid the galactic network. We got all that. All right. Because I usually do... Is it the ambitious version? Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, you don't want to mess up, that's for sure. I de easy is not really important right now. I'm not going to do easy or medium. It's either going to be ambitious or the first version of hard. But... All right. Sorry, I'm reading through it myself just to get an idea of which one I want to do. I think we're going to go hard version on this. That's what we're going to do. It took me 30 plus hours just to find a ship. Never again. Indeed. Indeed. Oh, it's connecting the account that is failing like white screen. No idea what it wants. Fail. Ugh. Ugh. I'm sorry. All right. I think we're going to do the level four version on it. So here's the rules. Um, you're running from the law. You can decide for yourself what background story. You already did that. After being chased down by the Galactic Authority, they managed to damage your ship and you are forced to crash land on a planet. Your ship is torn to shreds and unrepairable. And even as it looks like you could not have survived this. I'm not sure why I put that in. The Galactic Authority is guarding the crash zone, so you can't even go anywhere near it. Okay, that's not what you're supposed to do. You can't go near it. You can't use any of the resources that are normally sitting there right around the ship, like the little oxygen patch and the couple boxes and stuff. You can't go anywhere near this. Um, so we set it up. It's permadeath extreme difficulty. So let me move this over here. We're going to close that. I'm going to get rid of that because that's a resource hog right now. Wait. Bye. Okay, good. And let me go through here. So permadeath. First things first. Permadeath. Everything's set to challenging. Save, deleted, good, 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 expensive, expensive. Uh, inventory stack limits are harsh. Enemy strength is going to be challenging. Hostile, hostile predators on. We are disabling the tutorial because it's the only way to access the hyperdrive so we can move around. Um, oh, really? That's the first time you saw me was when I was doing an OHUB challenge? That was such a pain in the neck. It's such a pain in the neck to do. No I was actually thinking about doing the no hub challenge, no hud challenge. Um, I tell you what. Why don't we? It is almost ten thirty now. Let's do just a standard permadeath, no starter ship, no hud challenge right now. Let's go old school, and rather than doing fugitive, if we get through it, we'll go ahead and start a fugitive run. Maybe we'll do that. Because I, well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going back and forth on that. What do you guys think? Think we should do a no HUD or 
because I'm not going to do no HUD fugitive. That is way, way too ridiculously hard. Um, it would literally, like you said, takes 30 hours just to get to a ship at that point because you literally got to see it with your own eyes and you have no access to anything on your screen to be able to determine how bad you're doing. Plus, you're in permadeath. So it makes it that much difficult, more difficult, if you will. Let me go challenging on the reputation. Not that it really makes a difference. And we're going to lock out the difficulty settings. No matter what we do, we're going to do it from here. Everything is going to be locked at extreme at this point. So the most extreme permadeath challenge we can possibly do. Um, something to think of, too, in case most of you have not done this. Um, permadeath seems to have been adjusted. About a year ago, I think, they seem to have made some adjustments to normal and you know survival mode and permadeath mode. And I even jumped out of a, a freighter and landed on the planet with no jetpack in permadeath mode, and it didn't kill me. So... I was playing the other day in a permadeath run and I just jumped someplace and landed and hit the ground a little too hard. Not only did it knock my shields out, sorry about that, shields out completely, but it knocked me a heart down. And I'm like, oh, it looks like they may have adjusted it back. So we're going to have to be really careful. Permadeath, no HUD is probably best. Fugitive is super limiting. I kind of agree. That way, if we do have to go for a little longer, we can do, we can do it in, in the entire eight more hours that we're going to be doing this. So that sounds like a good idea. Eva might have to try it in a different browser later. I think I have Firefox 2 locked down for this. It might even just be Firefox that's causing the issues too. So, all right, so we're going to hold off on the Fugitive Run. Now that I have it saved, I can check it out anytime I want. All right, let's pull you back where you belong so I can see everything. Hmm, that's actually much better. Okay, I like that. All right, good deal. And I see there's a few extra folks in here. And thank you for joining us inside Vortex. I just realized it was you that was commenting here. <laughs> Apologize for that. Uh, I missed this chat earlier. Jupe Upa. Uh, Jupe Appa. Um, I'm very par I apologize. Vanilla? Um, I wouldn't say it was vanilla. No. Um, no Man's Sky has been updating since 2016. Everybody knows 2016 when it came out. We, we don't want to talk about that. It was horrible. We all know that was terrible. Um, yeah, I know. It's always a joy catching up to the lives. Um, I think what happened is, is they went through several renditions, did some upgrades. You know, it's obviously they, they have a lot of DLPs um, and they don't charge for them. So as they came out with them, they were changed, They were fixing things as they went. Just like the latest update that just happened, that was an eight gig update. And everybody's like, that can't possibly just be bugs. That's way too much information to dump in there so we know there's something else going on so we suspect that there's going to be uh you know an expedition coming out here in the next week or two that said not really vanilla in the sense that you can adjust the game in anything you want like i'm doing a custom one right now that's going to allow me to do all kinds of wacky stuff so yeah um vanilla maybe you could call it that if you want uh the sentinel ships were added a while ago as you know um we got some other ships too now that we have them I'm hoping, and you can get the Starboard, Starborn Runner. Somebody asked me that the other day. Someone says, hey, that's a great ship. Where can I get it? You can't. You had to have been doing the last uh, expedition uh, several a couple months ago, I think it is. But we do a Redux. That is, Hello Games has a Redux expedition run at the end of the year, starting in December, where they do all four expeditions. They rerun them for just like a week and a half to two weeks each. And you can get that Starboard Runner at that time. So... We'll see how that goes. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and get this started. So we're going to do no HUD, permadeath. So we'll turn off the HUD. Uh, can I do that here? I can't do that here. We're going to jump back out of this for just a second. So let me jump back out one more time. Options. Display. Can we do it in here? I don't know if we can do it in here. Back out. General? HUD. There we go. Disabled. Okay. Apply. Alright, so the HUD is disabled. Didn't realize we could do that here, so that's fantastic. We're going to do new game. Always enjoy. Always a joy catching a stream. <laughs> Custom. So thank you very much, from uh, Jupe. I hope you're still here. I apologize for missing it earlier. Um... Let's see here. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything else. All right. 
So back to this, we're going to change everything back over to permadeath, challenging, expensive, expensive. I suspect I'm probably going to die, challenging, disabled, can't have the dis tutor tutorial missions, challenging. So this is, and locking out the settings so I can't come back in here and cheat. Um, this is basically a no starter ship challenge, permadeath run. So we do not have access to the starter ship. We can't sell the starter ship. That's part of the rules. Um, so we can't use the money that we would get from it. We have to gather things as we go. We're going to have to find what we're looking for with our own two eyes. Now, I don't have the distance set very, very high on this. So it's going to take me some doing to find anything. So we're just going to have to use clues in the landscape to determine where things might be. Um, basically, we got to either find a crash ship or we have to purchase one from someone. That's it. Uh, whether it be a uh, trade station, you know, main trade station or something like that, that we would go to. It's up to us where we want to go with this. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's get started. Confirm, start game. And how are we doing? Time wise, 1030. Okay, great. So we're going to go at least, at least two hours doing this over here on Twitch. And can't and in case any of you didn't catch this at the very beginning i wanted so bad to dual stream i wanted to stream here and youtube at the same time but i found that and some testing computer just couldn't handle it it's too old too old of a system to, to do it i've got a pretty decent system it's an i7 it's got the maximum it can handle 16 gigs of ram i've got a 3060 in it but here we go but it's an older much older generation all right so we got some condensed carbon right in front of us Let's go ahead and grab it. I thought we were doing no HUD. I guess, hold on a second here. Oh, it says it's enabled again. I did that already. Okay, let's just do that. Okay, there we go. That's weird. I'm gonna get some condensed carbon. So, I didn't really cheat. I don't think, is that? No, that's not something I can get. Do we have any caves? Caves are going to be my friend right now. And I need a cave. I'm going to have to look around. Ooh, creatures. I will scan them if I can. Yes, I can. Okay. Oh, they fixed that glitch where she was going to talk to me now. I think there's a cave over here, so I'm going to head over there. Is that a cave, or is it just a... Furrow in the ground it is. Crud. Alright, let's grab some sodium. That's the hardest part, is not being able to determine where you're going. Now, if you look at the backpack... Hey, Sugar Rat, good to have you here. Doing a no-HUD no challenge. Overheated. Okay. I will pay attention to her, but I need to find myself a cave or I'm going to die. And you see, you, you, you're aiming at stuff and you don't know. That looks like a shelter up ahead. So this is just a regular permadeath run. We're not doing fugitives, so I'm allowed to access shelters. And if you look at the back of your backpack, you can see the red and the blue. There we go. Maybe we can get ourselves some cold protection? I love cold planets. I'm glad I started here. I don't know what I got. Okay. And is there anything in the ground here? Can't can't find anything. Okay, we'd have to dig around a while. We're just going to keep going. Good. Oi! See those shelters up ahead, so I'm going to head towards them. I have no idea where the ship is in relation to me. Sorry. Get out of the way. Excellent. I can't get the big guy. I know that. I'll scan those guys later. I want to get to the shelter. Ooh, copper. I don't really need it, though. Ooh, vegetation. Run juice ran out. 
Oh, this is weird. It's it's bringing back memories, not good ones. <laughs> All right, I'll pay attention to chat in just a second once I get where I'm going here. All right, so we got lucky. This is really, really. Someone put a lawn chair outside. That's fantastic. All right, so we can recharge. So let me see. That's pretty neat. I'm looking at the back of the backpack here. So it's red and blue is what it is, and it's kind of hard to see it even on this one. This is really, really odd. So we should be fully charged again as far as our shield is concerned. Hazard protection, I should say. VR? No, no, no. I don't know if you... if you. I've tried that, Sugarette. I tried to do the, the VR run, and it... Um, I tried recording it, and literally the computer couldn't keep up with it. It was so glitchy and pixelated, it was ridiculous. I mean, I saw everything was perfect, but oh my god, no. It just not a good not a good thing. Not a good thing. Okay, we get some more nanites. Alright, so we have a shelter here. We can do a little scouting around and gather things. So let me see what the damage machinery holds. Okay, more nanites. All right, let's just jump in here, check out my inventory, check out my multi-tool, take this opportunity to take a look at stuff. That's going to be life support. Good. All right. I'm just going to move some stuff around. Uh, let's see. All right. A little bit of carbon. We got a little bit of condensed carbon. Sodium. Hydrogen. We could use some life support stuff. We're definitely going to need some more ferrite dust and oxygen. Okay, good. Starship we're not worried about. Oh, we got a supercharge slot over here too. So what do we put in the supercharge slot? Do we put the mining beam or the scanner? Scanner's not going to make a difference because we're not using it. Mining beam it is. So we're going to put you guys off to the side. You're not helping us anyway. Um... Terrain manipulators at 100%. Okay, good deal. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything from you guys. Okay, good. All right. So here we go. All right. So I need more materials. I'm definitely going to need more carbon, condensed carbon, ferrite. We need everything. Let's just put it that way. All right. Is that... That's a tiny little guy. I don't know how many there are on the planet, but we'll have to check later. And if you see sparks coming from something, it means you should be able to harvest it. But for some reason, that one, I think, is not working. All right, there we go. A little more standard carbon. Now, the carbon we get from the tiny plants is sometimes more than we expect. Or not. So I'm going to take this opportunity while I have a shelter nearby to get certain things. Why is this tree not going? Good grief. I'm going to run out of uh, juice on my mining beam soon if this keeps up. Come on. Come on. There we go. Let's see how we're doing. 111. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So we'll take out all these trees. I'll get a couple more rocks. We'll go from there. <sighs> it's nice to settle into a groove once you're streaming and you're getting going with this stuff, but man, I tell you. Oh, I need some of that too. Yep, overheated. Still overheating, huh? Oh, no, we're out. Use condensed. All right. Okay, hazard protection is not terrible right now. Thing is, is that most of the creatures that you see are not showing up as green or red dots, so I have no idea how many are out there. That's fantastic. Ooh, we got some heptaloid wheat here. Let's go ahead and grab that. And there's going to be small quantities of this stuff all over the place. We're not going to find very large patches at all. Alright. How we doing? 
70 ferrite. What do you provide? Hazard protection. I should probably... I shouldn't have done that. Just jump in a shelter and reboost. There is going to be some buried tech over here, but I have no idea where it is. Yep, there we go. I do like that. I don't have to go actually inside of a door to get where I'm going here. The good news is we can still go into the escape menu and check to see how many we got. It looks like there are six here. We got ground, flying, and one underground that we haven't discovered yet. Okay. That'll give us a nice boost. Uh, let's get these rocks here because they seem to actually be doing something. All right. Trying to think of what else to do next. I do need some more carbon. I want to get enough carbon. I do need to find a cave. I want to get some cobalt so I can make some batteries because we're going to need those. And I found a plant, apparently. Great. I'm going to have those all over the landscape. That ought to be fun. Any time now. Let's make sure I've gotten that guy. Okay, good. Let's head back to the shelter. All right. Very tech will be to the left side of the screen on the damaged machinery. Yeah, I have had buried technology show up over here. I've had it show up all the way out there. So the problem is, is finding it. And I don't think we're going to be able to scan for anything under the ground at all. So that's going to be fun. So what I can do is just dig. So I don't think it's over here. Let me check over here now. And we can always fill it back in. That's the best part. No. And only so that I'm not falling in holes while I'm trying to get back into my uh, shelters. There. All the way over there, you think? Nothing makes sense indeed, I know. I mean, we could use the silicate anyway, but if we're going to fill up our inventory with it, I'll tell you that. Oh, there it is. Got lucky. Okay. Come on, fill it in. At least get the surface filled in, please. We don't have to do all of it. I just want to get the stuff right about my... Oh, you're just going to drive me nuts, aren't you? Yeah, it won't fill it in now. Happens. Alright, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, let's get back into shelter because my screen is getting white. Yep, we were down to 20%. Looks like we got three of them out of there, so that's good. Uh, what do we got? So we got ferrite, we got a lot of silicate. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of this. Good. And that will we'll keep a full stack otherwise. Alright, a little bit of ferrite. We got enough dihydrogen to start making life support gels. I think we can make a couple of them. All right, and life support gel is with carbon as well. How much carbon we got? We got plenty. All right, good. So we got life support. That's a start. All right, and we're gonna pick up vegetation as we go. I have no idea which direction to go because obviously with the HUD shut down, I have no idea which way to 
head. So we're just going to head out and hope for the best. So, all right. I think we're good. Um, I'm going to pick a direction that I think works. I'm going to try to use either the stars or a body in the heavens. I can't find one. We're, we're going to head, I think, that direction. We'll use the rings of the planet to get me where I'm going and pray that I don't get turned around. Plus, it looks like these ships are headed in that direction as well, which means landing platform. Normally. Just depends upon where they head. Let's watch them for a moment and see where they head. Hopefully, we don't lose sight of them. I can go back into the shelter and recharge in just a moment. Up and mildly to the left. So we're going in the right direction. So that's where we want to head. Okay, good. Let's just recharge real quick and then we'll head out. And we want to find a cave on the way. That's going to be our first obligation. We'll take a look around as we go. Charged. Ready. Life support's already down. So we're going to have to work on that. We'll keep an eye on vegetation as we go because food's going to be our friend here. Besides using the life support gels. Like that one over there. And there's going to be a lot of looking. Whoops. Okay. Yeah. I hate when I do that. Did I already scan you? Yes. Is that? It's a cave. Cave it is. Let's jump down in here. Take a look. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Secondary element. Let's see what we get out of this. Probably, uh... Oh, dihydrogen. That's handy. Don't make that mistake of digging holes by accident. So let's get our cobalt. We'll get some batteries. This is good. Love no HUDs, because I can't see what I'm shooting. Okay, we're getting hot on the beam here. Those are not working. Okay. Go for these. Just watch the beam turn red. I'm going to be running out of a charge soon. Okay, let's see how much we got. 189. 257. Very nice. We got enough ferrite. I think we've got enough to do some batteries now. Twenty batteries. Excellent. Let's go ahead and fill it out. And we'll get some more on the way. Alright, good, good, good. Should I keep the cobalt for now? I will. I'll keep it for now, just in case I need it. Alright. Anything else in here I need to grab? Uh, let me see here. The upper stalactites only have a primary element, so they're not important. There was a couple of those guys over there. Always takes a long time to take them out. All right, not sure what I got out of them, but we'll find out. Let's see. A little bit of oxygen, a little bit of, little bit of sodium. Okay, good. We got plenty of batteries to recharge with. Okay, we're good to go. Let's get out of here. Okay. Direction of the ring was... Where'd it go? That way. Okay. Hopefully I can keep that direction. That'll be a pain in the neck otherwise. I already scan you? No. Okay, there's our last ground-based creature. Any flying ones? Yes, there they are. That's the flying one. Now we just need to find an underground one. Okay, good. A 
and that's in case a trader drops in, we might be able to purchase some hazard protection. So let's get up to the top of the rise here. We're going to take a look around, since high ground is very important in this game when you're playing with no HUD. Boink. Okay, good. I hear ships. There they are. So we're going to see if my theory's right. I'm thinking they're going to head in that direction. Let's see what they do. Head to the left. There they go, and they're going sharper. So we want to head just left of the ring. So we'll head there. All right, how we doing? Life support really is dropping like crazy. Um, hazard protection. That's hazard protection. What do you give us? Life support. Excellent. Let's eat it all. Okay. And do we see anything out there? Looking for damaged machinery. We can use some more sodium. Basically anything we can get our hands on at this point. Use our blue flowers as friends. Okay. Stay low to the ground though, you gotta be careful. So we were talking Star Wars, we see here. So like I said, Rebels is a really, really good show. I think my son has watched it at least, I don't know, at least half a dozen times at this point. He's not in the room with me now. And we've watched it together at least three or four times. Uh, how's my hazard protection looking? Okay. Let's use just one battery, because otherwise it'll use up two. You gotta do it yourself. And you notice it's not warning you that the hazard protection is, is off. And as soon as I turn the HUD back on when we get to the end of this, if we get to the end of this, um, it's going to give me all my achievements and my announcements. Uh, let's see. Looking for tendrils of smoke. Use the caves as you can. Yeah, see it's climbing. I just want to Stay in here for just a moment. We're going to head back out. Love to get... Love to get some Exocraft, but I don't think we can do that, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. We'd have to put a base computer down, and I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, and we probably could use a refiner at some point. We do need stuff. Let's see if we can get back out of here now. There we go. And make sure we don't head in the wrong direction again. Sun is behind us. Let's grab the sodium. Get up to the next rise. Looks like we got some more food over there. I'll head towards that. That's my life support. And I'm not seeing any broken machinery anywhere, so this is going to be tough. Try not to use the jetpack as much because it kills your life support. Ooh, nice. Okay, how we doing? Yeah, see, life support really, really low. Okay. Not sure what that's going to do for me, so I'm going to just use my eyes. Oh, hey, a huh, little grabber there. Grab that, too, while we're here. Good. So we're heading in that direction anyway. Got the sun behind me. I'm sure that's a cave right below me at this point. Just furrows in the ground, at least. Okay, good. Alright. Anything. Anything at all. Looks like we got a knowledge stone down there. Alright, I'm gonna head towards this direction. It looks like my Yeah, it's starting to drop. It's starting to drop, it's dropping a little too far, but I'm gonna have to use a charge here now. There we go. 
Done. Down here. Done. Okay, good. And life support looks like it's really low. It's getting there. Yeah, I agree. You know, you can only rely on the RNG so much, unfortunately. I don't really put much faith in it at all. There we go. Excellent. Dense carbon is our friend. You know what? Let me just grab this here while I'm at it. Good time to just gather up some resources since they're all right next to each other anyway. Oh. Life support's getting really low. Again. So that seems to be the hardest thing right now as my life support keeps dropping out on me. Alright. No, none of those are sparking, so stop it. Thing is, the damaged machinery may not may not be showing up. And that's the thing, because my field of view may be too low. It's a possibility. I see vegetation. I'm going to grab it. Some food. How we doing? Yeah, life support is low. Okay. We'll get more of those as we go. There we go. Is this a cave? Can we use it? No, it is not a cave. Alright. Let's use sodium this time. Ah, great. One of those planets. Fantastic. There we go. Those little pink sack venoms are my worst enemy when I'm doing permadeath runs. I had a beautiful permadeath run going one time and I ran into a patch of those and it killed me within seconds. Alright, let's see. Huh. Yeah, see, they're still heading left. Oh, found one of those uh, darn little whippersnappers there. Ankle grabbers, as I call them. Talk about being stingy. Good grief, yeah. Alright, we've got some plants out that way. A lot of them, actually. Um, let's head that direction. And then we'll see what we can see. We'll see if we can get anything else. Ah, looks like there's something up on the hill up there. Awesome. At least a shelter. Alright, how are we doing? Life support. Bring that back up. Looks like we got some projectile ammunition. I'm not going to need it. Hazard protection. We'll put you over here. And let's use it. Excellent. Life support. Okay. Sorry about that. Ah, oh, we have a singular ship. I wonder if he had landed and I didn't see him. That's usually what happens on those single ships that are hug hugging the ground like that. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the rusted metal right now. We'll hang that to that. Up. Out. Alright, back to where we were going. get up to the rise here so I can get my position again and figure out where I'm going. Because I know that there's that building up there. I just don't remember where it was now. There it is. Okay, good. We're heading straight for it. 
I'm not getting the frosty at the corners of the screen. They're just starting to appear, so we might be getting a little bit low. All right, so it looks like just shelters, but shelters help. All right, good, good. All right. Hazard, hazard, and food. The other one's probably empty. I don't... Oh, we do have some damaged machinery over there. Good. Yeah. Oh, that was a hazard protection uh, unit. That's all right. We don't need it. All right. Let's check out the damaged machinery and see what we get. And it is a building over there. That's good. Just nanites? Nanites. Okay. Where do you think we're going to find it this time? I think we're going to find it over here. There it is. Got lucky. Alright, good. So, where's the front of it? To where it's located. Okay, we're just going to keep an eye on that, see if it seems to follow through the rest of the game, or if it's still going to be... Hello, wait a minute. See if it uh, still shows up in random places. Sometimes you get microprocessors out of this and could help with upgrades later on. Alright. Let's head inside this facility. Now, this is a satellite facility, so this is not going to point me at a ship. It's going to point me at a, probably a crash trader or ancient thing on another planet. Nothing else in here. It'll at least give us an aerial view. Let's go ahead and do it anyway. We can do it once. Uh, let's see. Oh, are you kidding me? Boy, this is a tough one. Alright, pull back. Gotta remember which way we're going, though. I don't really see anything else. Okay, worth a shot, but... <laughs> doesn't give you anything because <laughs> the HUD's turned off alright so where's the shelter there's the shelters so we came from that direction so we're heading that way okay on we go let's just keep going looks like we had another ooh, oh my gosh is that It is. It's a crash ship. I don't see an owner. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. Yeah, it's a crashed ship. Son of a gun. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, just cargo for now. Whatever. I don't care what I got. It doesn't make a difference. We got the ship. So I'm going to gather up resources and we can fix this sucker and then the challenge is over. Can you imagine this? What time is it? It's been 30 minutes. Unbelievable. I've never had that happen before. Luck of the Jason indeed. I tell you what. Just don't die. Yeah. 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 Just don't die. I notice many of the internal plant fixtures give carbon again. They do. They do the, that now. So... I know, right? Tell me about it. Good grief, people. I don't really need to get anything anymore, but I'll pull what I can out of these units. Come on. Thank you. I didn't get an upgrade or anything, right? Yeah, let's get rid of the that. Let's get my life support up a little bit. There we go, because I want to free up some inventory. There we go. There we go. And we did get ourselves a microprocessor. How nice. So little piece of garbage shutter sh shutter shutter sh uh, shuttle <laughs> it's a b-class too with two supercharged slots and the launch thrusters are already repaired um i'll go so far as to say we need to repair the shields too so we can get some chromatic metal sodium nitrate yes and we're gonna get a uh, metal plate hermetic shield us uh, you know what i mean so we're gonna claim the ship done 
let's get in to save ourselves a little bit of life and we need to get this ship fixed up so I don't think we can build yep we can make the hermetic seal we do have enough and we need what else metal plate so we can do that I don't think we have enough ferrite for it though good and we're gonna need sodium nitrate which pretty sure we don't have any 13 to that 50 chromatic metal which means we need some copper all right yeah I know I know I know stop it so we'll need a couple metal plates uh, let's get carbon not carbon pardon me you know what I mean I'm just really blown away by this really you know pop up literally right next to me it looks like that's copper right over there watch for sack venom this is how I died that other time I'm peering because I know something's about to happen. I'm going to have a ship land on my head. Uh, let's go small. Can't believe it. we got copper right next to the ship as well. Unbelievable. I have to say this is probably my fastest permadeath run, period. Let alone no HUD. Good grief. Unfreaking believable Streamer's luck? Ah, no. No, 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 no. No, then you haven't watched any of my streams, my friend. <laughs> I, I do not get Jason's luck at all. Everybody knows who Jason plays is. I don't get his luck at all. I usually fail miserably. Like I said, I've never completed a fugitive challenge as of yet. How much How much did we get? About 200? We got enough. I'm looking around because I know I'm about to step on something that will kill me. We're taking it slow. Huh. There we go. Just in case we have anything in there we could use. Because maybe it gave me sodium nitrate. Look, another cargo drop. What is going on? So yeah, maybe no uh, damaged machinery, but... Unbelievable. Okay, check my inventory. Good. Don't need that. Get nip. All right. Um, we didn't get any ferrite. Let's do that real quick. Make sure I have the right setting turned on because we keep getting stupid sentinels tracking us. Okay. Let's go somewhere else. Since, uh, you know, Floaty over there is going to get upset with me uh, taking some of his stuff. We may still head in the direction we were going just to see if we can find a landing platform. I'm curious. No. How much do we have? 120. I think we have enough for two metal plates. Yep, we had enough. Good. That should do it. It's time to fix ship. Who the heck is Jason? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, let's see. Yeah, we can use all of you now. What in the world is all that? That was weird. Oh, because it's looking at the ship inventory. Uh, we need sodium first, so we don't need much of it. We need 13. Shouldn't take long. Indeed. Indeed. I'll have to check my status before I die. And let's put the copper in. Copper, 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 copper. There you are. We only need, like, 50 of it, so... How we doing? Okay. Okay. 
Used up all the food. It's good. Life support's fine. We're pretty much just about finished. Let's fix that other portion of the ship real quick. Okay, so that's done. Sodium nitrate, we'll put it in. We just need 50 chromatic metal and we're ready. Unbelievable. Unbelievable that we can finish this in... I think it's been 39 minutes. Nope, not you. You. Hey, shields are up and running. Okay. You can stop. We're done. Ship is complete. There we go. All right. Good deal. New world record, indeed. I don't know. I've heard some people complete it in like 15 to 20 minutes just because they got lucky. Um, let's stop bobbing. So, let's see how far away we were from anything. So, our HUD is turned off. So, let's turn the HUD back on temporarily and we'll take a look. <laughs> do, 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 do. There was this we would have ran right into. Minor settlement. See, it's getting us all our alerts now. See? All the alerts. I love doing that. So our theory was there was a landing platform this way. Looks like we had an R uh, what do you call it? Uh, not an archive. Most well, historical sites. Some more shelters. We had a lot of stuff on the way. We were on a ley line, so that's good. As far as that's concerned. But I don't see where there was an archive or landing platform. Because archives and landing platforms the ships are flying towards. Yeah, I don't see it. But doesn't necessarily mean it wasn't going to be there eventually. Unbelievable. Okay. Oh, I know what that is. Okay. Yeah, that's just... Uh, it actually would have pointed us at one, but it not, not necessarily the closest one, as we know. Why doesn't it do that? Anyone know? It always points at one that's, like, on the other side of the planet when you do a scan. Doesn't make any sense to me. Unfreaking believable, though. One more scan. Okay. I think we're done. Awesome! So I guess it's time to do a... Fugitive run, now that we got ourselves kind of situated and ready to go. Alright, good deal. Let's see what game time it shows. Um, mode select, yes, let's get there. 38 minutes. Unbelievable. 38 minute run, fantastic. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Oh, and if you're wondering about this, this is from the Omega Expedition that we had earlier. That's the record time, 48 minute for the speed run. So I decided to keep that safe for posterity. All right, so we're done with that. Now it's time to do the fugitive run. So we're going to be on the run for the rest of our stream here. So looking at the time right now, we're going to give this probably about two hours. And then when you can meet me over at YouTube. There we go. Let me jump up here real quick. And for those of you who are not familiar with my channel on YouTube, there is the link to my YouTube channel. And feel free to jump over there, check things out. If you'd like to subscribe, feel free. It's different. If you all are very familiar with Twitch and not YouTube, when you subscribe on YouTube, it is the same as following on Twitch. Okay? So just be aware of that. All right, so we're going to start a new run. We're going to do the Fugitive Run, as we've said. So I still have that open over here in the background, right? All right, so permadeath, we are definitely going to turn the HUD back on. I am not doing it like that. And we can't dupe, we can't glitch, no safes coming or anything like that. 
Uh, obviously the tutorial's off and we're on the run. We have to stay away from our starter ship completely. We are not allowed to enter any buildings. So we cannot land or interact with space stations, trading posts, archives. We can't go to any buildings whatsoever, including shelters, uh, transmission towers, not even those. Um, we can't go anywhere near them, so we have to stay away from them. Uh, Got to stay out of the, the broken freighters, too. Any broken freighters on the planet, same thing. They're being scanned. Uh, you may have to use up a lot of your luck with that one. Yeah, tell me about it. I don't even know you were on Twitch. Uh, I just now hit the follow button. Thank you very much, Inside Vortex. Appreciate it. No, I only just started Twitch uh, about two weeks ago. Three weeks ago? Something like that. It's mostly I've been doing Palya on here just because it's really kind of a cozy game and I do like to play it as a, as a detox game. Kind of one of those games you just kind of play. There's no combat, nothing. Nothing like Sentinel Battles. You know how I am with Sentinel Battles anyway. I don't take them for, you know, they don't bother me anymore. I used to when I first started. I was scared to death and I used to dig a hole in the ground and try to hide from them. So, What in the world was that? <laughs> okay. Oh, that was the alert. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, several people have followed. I thank you very much. Uh, you, you Thunder, obviously, I appreciate that. Dr. Six Legs YouTube followed me. Thank you very much for that as well. I've got it all the way over on my other screen. I'm very sorry. So you're looking inside my ear. You could probably see out the other side. Um, Faith Based Quack, thank you very much for following. Inside Vortex, of course. Dan Maz, thank you very much for hitting that follow button. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, not planning on doing a whole lot here over on Twitch, except playing these games. I'm not interested. It's not a money thing, to be honest with you. I play these games for the joy of playing them and i try to share that joy with others to say hey this is what no man's sky is about you got questions ask i'm here to answer questions backseat driving all day long knock yourselves out hey you missed that thanks sorry you're right really really appreciate it thank you thank you thank you um so we're gonna go ahead and get this done so like i said uh we can't go to any of these places that makes it really really difficult we can find cargo things on the planet and all that stuff we can pick those things up that's not a problem but we are going to have to find a lot of buried tech to get money we can hopefully find a crash ship and we can trade in our crash ship for the starter from the starter ship but we can't use the starter ship in any way for anything we can't even trade it in on a new ship someplace now if i get a guy landing next to me as you know in no man's sky you'll have a trader drop down and 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 want to trade stuff with you if you get one of those guys that drop down um you can buy the ship from him you consider him like an outlaw like yourself because he's always selling x class upgrades those are pirate upgrades so he's a pirate or an outlaw himself you can trade with him so one of the other things that you're allowed is you're allowed outlaw trading pilots who land nearby we just talked about that uh, or the ones that contact you mid-flight. If you're flying, pulse driving and then one pops up, you can trade with them. Uh, traffic in and out of outlaw stations is only possible with a solar ship. So if I found an outlaw system, I have to land and I have to find a crashed solar ship or trade with somebody who lands next to me with a solar ship and purchase their ship. Very, very tough. That's what makes this really, really long. Um, so traffic in and out is only possible with one of those. You can land at, this is abandoned buildings, you can land at and use, but only when all the eggs are removed. On foot. You have to do it on foot. Now, if you've ever seen any of my streams where I've done the whispering eggs, not a problem. I know how to handle that crap. Uh, can land in at abandoned system stations. So if you go to an abandoned system where the, sta where the station is completely wiped clean, there's nothing there, it's all red inside, you can land there, use them, but you have to leave the system immediately after exiting the station. Planetary portal. Okay, so these are the portals that help you jump to other planets or other solar systems. Got it. Uh, you can use them, but you have to leave the system immediately after exiting. Pardon me, that's the wrong one. Um, you can only use it to travel if you've collected eight of the 16 glyphs okay so you have to collect eight glyphs which means finding the travelers on the planet the gravestones on the planet that's tough that's really really tough uh base building but only in a pirate empty system or abandoned system okay and must be in a cave so you have to put it in the cave so you can't be observed from from space 
uh, uploading discoveries. No man's server, no man's sky servers are not considered part of the galactic network. So you're allowed to upload your discoveries to get nanites. And then the under a rebel star mission, you can you can start this mission to find an outlaw station. All other rules still apply, so you can't go into the buildings and things like that. But you can at least get it started so you can get to an outlaw system, because that's where all your trading's gonna end up happening. All right, and the breaking a rule thing. If any of you are familiar with the fugitive run. If you break one of these rules, even by accident, which hopefully it is by accident, you didn't do it on purpose, you have to scrap your current ship completely and everything in it and scrap the items you got from scrapping it. So in other words, it, you know, worth 18 million, you get all the uh, iridium scraps and stuff like you have to just wipe them out of your inventory. You can't sell them. Once the ship is scrapped, you have to engage sentinels and destroy a sentinel dreadnought to escape from the system. Um, needless to say, I tried that one time and I died real quick because the Sentinels took me out in a heartbeat. It wasn't even the Dreadnought. I didn't even meet, make it to the Dreadnought. So that was a lot of fun. So hopefully you just don't break the rules. So I'm going to keep this open on one side. Uh, uh, well, not quite open, but we'll do it here in just a minute. So here we go. New save. Back to the game. New custom. Start in permadeath. Extreme challenge on everything to do harsh challenging we have to disable the mission so we can get the stuff that we need in order to keep going everything's challenged locking our settings so everything is at maximum we are going to turn the hud on as soon as we appear because apparently resetting the hud in the main settings here doesn't seem to have an effect on it all right so here we go uh i think that's it pretty much all right folks fugitive challenge begun it is now 11.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and we're going to, like I said, we'll do this for about at least an hour and a half. Sometime around 1 o'clock Eastern Time, a little bit after that, we're going to go ahead and pause this. We're all going to take a quick break, go to the bathroom, grab a quick bite to eat. Uh, needless to say, I haven't eaten anything today. I've had coffee and water, and that's about it. I'll throw on a hat at that point, and uh, we'll, we'll knuckle down on the Fugitive Run and see what we can do. First things first, weather hot. See, it already said that it's not on, so let's turn this back on. Oh, it is enabled. We're good. We're on a hot planet this time. This is the second planet I like to... There it goes. Okay. Just trying to play catch up here. All right, so we're not going towards our ship. One thing I like to check real fast is where are we on the planet? Heading north would be our best option. We don't want to head south. It'll cause us problems. Six fauna on the planet. So, teddy bear, let's go ahead and get you. Any more? Any more? Any more? There's one over there, but I don't think I can... Oh, I can. Yeah. And we got a cave right here. Did we get that fortunate? Or, nope, that's just a cropping. Alright, which way's north? That's south. That be north. We'll head in that direction, and we'll keep an eye open for caves on the way. I need ferrite dust, of course. Wow, that, that, my shield is dropping, my hazard protection is dropping real fast. I think that'll give me protection for now, too. Okay, we already scanned you guys. There's three animals already. Okay, and there's the fourth. Okay, go. Excuse me, excuse me, coming through. Can I can I get this guy? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. He's just small enough for it. Yeah, I know it's falling. I'm going to be able to listen to that the whole time. Yay! Okay, and it looks like we've already got a structure in front of us. Fantastic. Ooh, is that what I think it is? <gasps> Salvage containers. Ooh, that's lucky. That's very lucky. That's money right there. Some Some of those things are worth millions. So that's very, very good. I need sodium. It's going to be time to do a scan here in just a minute. Oxygen. We got some sodium over there. Let's grab it real fast. Ouch. Don't run into things. Ooh, this is good. Fireberries. 
I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's life support. Yeah, good. Good, okay. We're in good shape. I'm telling you, man, whenever you're doing these uh, permadeath runs, those little, uh, those pieces of food you find everywhere, they, will, they are lifesavers on this planet. On these planets, any planet. All right, good deal. Whoop, hello there. Bet you can't tame the animals. You can just take one for a ride, but... Oh, that's not a freaking shelter of any type. But it could come in handy. Um, no, we have to stay away from it. Sorry. See? Already forgetting. All right. North, that way. So we cannot access it or touch any of the stuff around it. Just, just keep going. Alright, take a look. Take a look. But we're on a ley line, so that's going to be good. Organic structure, uh, buried cache. Not really worried about that yet. I'm not worried about gathering materials just yet. Because we just want to stay alive. Oh, hello. Is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm used to just heading towards structures like that. I don't know why. Probably because I'm used to the regular permadeath runs. I need to stay away from them. So, appreciate it. Hmm. Yeah, I'll worry about getting dihydrogen next. I want to find a cave. Because I want to get cobalt and get some... Uh, batteries going on. Ugh. These hills are killing me. Could be worse, could be one of those really mountainous planets that I really love, you know. Gosh, I'm trying to figure out which way to go. Excellent. Don't worry, I know it's falling. I got enough sodium to take care of that problem. All right, good. Here's some stuff. Health is at maximum. Excellent. I'm going to take the rusted metal for now. Just for now, because I might want to do something with that. Not much here that I can grab. Is this a cave? Yes, it is. Well, hello there. Oh, gosh. What a... Back away, back away, back away. I don't want the carbon. Hoping I can take these guys out before the dust gets to me. Whew. Secondary element, what do we got? Silver! You know, I don't know if we're allowed to use Exocraft. I'm going to not use Exocraft. For the time being. They have Tritium in the top one. Okay, good. Tritium's handy. In this kind of run. Look at that. I got some more hazardous plants up there to my right. Boy, I picked the right cave to jump into, didn't I? much cobalt as I can get right now, because we're going to need as much as I can get. Look at all the silver I'm getting. This is one of those situations where I wish that I could uh, make an exocraft. Stranded run you can do that in. Oxygen. Very good. Oh, you butt pain. Hold on. Uh, let's go condensed. There we go. Pain in the butt. Same thing. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Uh, let's see. So we can get sodium from those marrow bulbs if we want to build a refiner. Yeah, those things are worthless. Subterranean relics aren't worth enough to keep. A few thousand each. And they don't stack very much. Uh, how much cobalt uh, do I have? I do need more. 
Uh, hazard and life support. Let's get our life support up a little bit here. Good. All right. Let's get some more cobalt. Something isn't explicitly forbidden. It's fair game. Is there a reason it conflicts with fugitive status? It's a good point. You can build a base, but it can only be in a certain planet. So if you think about it, I can't really make an exocraft because I have to build a base to do so, and the only I can't build it in this system. So there you go. I think that's what if you if you do the logical thinking, you do the the process all the way down, you start to realize you can't do it. Carbon. I'll take that. How much cobalt do I have? Oh, 248. All right, that should be enough. How much ferrite do I have? 22. I need a lot more ferrite. No rocks? No. 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 Okay, let's exit. So, yeah, uh, since we're not in that kind of system that I can build a base on, I'd have to build it in a cave in an abandoned system. So I'm not in that system. Yeah, I'd love to, but I can't. So that just kind of eliminates that rule. Up we go. Back to the north. North. That way. No, no, no. Don't fall back into the cave. And get some of this stuff on the way. Immediately. You gotta tell me immediately, don't you? Can't build a base in an outlaw system, only abandoned. In an outlaw system, I think you can as well, but you have to build it inside of a cave. And I don't know if this, this is an outlaw system. I'm pretty sure it's not. That would suck. It would be great, and at the same time, it would suck. So, uh, let's check real quick. This is just regarding the planet itself. Pull back. Korvac system. It's unruly on conflict level, but it is not a pirate system. So, yep. Moving on. North. Plants. Food. Oh, yeah. We have enough ferrite now to make at least a few of these. Hmm. More than a few. Very nice. Okay, we're in good shape as far as that's concerned. Let's gather more stuff. And then we're going to start looking around. Love the procedural generation as it pops into play while you're sitting here. Alright, good. Moving on. So what we're looking for, we're going to just keep looking for um, habitations, if you will, like that one. But you see there's already a sentinel next to it. You know what it is. I'm not worried about it. But I'm looking more for um, crashed ships, of course. So I am going to grab that. How far away is that one? Okay. Do do. Yay, poop. Movement module. How very nice. That actually is handy. Hold on. There. Okay. Put you in. Nice. That's actually not terrible. That's good. That's a good system. Fantastic. That's good. Like some heat protection, but that'll work. And once we get that, we can check out. Does the plant have phosphorus on it? Uh, yes, it does. Okay, so we could charge our heat shield if we can get one with phosphorus. And is that a small oxygen patch? Yes, it is. With oh, a sodium one in the middle of it. Isn't that pretty? Excellent. Okay. Oh, for crying out loud. I hate when I do that. Get to switch over. Do 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 do. Very good. All right. Life support gels. Can we do them? I can do one. Okay, that'll work for now. We'll get more later. Moving on. Ooh, slow down. Nice. 
this condensed carbon is the awesomest thing right now. I was really hoping for the uh, the bubble uh, hazardous plants, the ones that have the uh, oxygen bubbles on them. We don't even want to care about heading in that direction. Uh, let's see, and we got salvage containers straight in front of me. That is fantastic, though I know it's going to call in some sentinels when we do it. Fortunately, it calls in the other types of sentinels. So, the corrupted ones, pardon me, I'm just trying to think here. Sac Venom, yay. Just what I always wanted. Let's head in that direction. Let's go ahead and grab the buried technology while we're on our way. Is this one that's near some damaged machinery, or...? It is. Okay, good. Hate those things. Get me every time. What's with me in the upgrades? The RNG is working really good today for upgrades. And look, this one happens to have a... And it's an S-Class mining beam upgrade. Fantastic. But you know what? I'm not as interested in that as I am interested in seeing things. What's my scanner range? 150? Let's boost that up. That's a smarter move, I think, for us right now, because we need to find stuff. Uh, where is it? There it is. I am not going to do the... Well, we could. Uh, where are you? Get back over there. I think we can pick it up this way. No, there's so much stuff here. Uh, we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Up we go. North! Head north! Head north, they said. Find a ship, they said. Alright, what do we got? So there is our first salvage container. And there's one just beyond it as well. Let's grab some food on the way down. Because we're going to need it. No, nope, that's where I wanted to be. Life support. Good. And this is uh, hazard protection. Okay, good. Okay. Allergy season. Love it. Kids sound like they're dying in the background. Easy, 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 easy. Wow. Pretty good jetpack. Um, did I just literally run right over it? Yes, I did. Where'd it go? There it is. Alright. Let's go down below it. And then we're going to dig in. Okay. And this will protect us from... Oh, you got to be kidding. Yeah, if not, none of you are familiar with this. This is this particular type of ground that you cannot dig through. So, yeah, we'll have to skip this one. Where's the other one at? Yeah, we'll go after that one. Oh, well, it is what it is. Huh, wait a minute. Is my hazard? Yeah, it's going up, so it's treating it like a cave. Yeah, because we are in a cave. Look at that. We just let it go all the way up, and then we'll head out. I've run into that a lot with crash freighters. Oh, tell me about it. You know what's even worse is when you're on the hot planets that have volcanoes on them, and that throws a base or throws a, some kind of a landing shelter or whatever inside the base of a volcano. You can't get into it. I hate that. It drives me nuts. And on we go. Ah. That's interesting. There's two salvage. I've never run into that before. I'm going to make a hole over here for me to camp out in. There we go. And expose these. There's two salvage containers right next to each other. That's really weird. There. I think that's good. That should protect me enough. Because you know they're going to come after me. Hmm, nothing so far. There they are. Crap! 
Okay, he's above the ground. Nice. We'll fix it, figure it out in a minute. Let's get the other one before we get attacked. Because these guys have everything. They have lasers, they've got the things they can lob. Oh crap, 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 crap. Oh my gosh. We're going to check it real quick. Two million and almost a million. Fantastic. Now let's get the heck out of here before they attack me. Ooh, I'll take that. Ooh, food. Now normally they won't chase you. Hey, unburied tech. Isn't that fantastic? No, this isn't ADHD. This is just taking advantage of everything and hopefully nothing attacks you type thing. Alright, so we have yet to get one with nanites. Alright, we got nanites that time. But there's another one here. It's a double unit. Let's see what we get from the second one. Probably going to be nanites. Okay. Looks like that was it, I think, right? Yeah, okay. And that means there's another buried tech right here. Can we get it with, uh... No? Okay. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stabilized. Whatever. Let's head over here. So, the, yeah, the uh, corrupt sentinels didn't get me. Look at that. Another one. Unburied. Nice. Fantastic. So far, so good. I think this is a pretty good run. Nice haul. Tell me about it, man. Okay. More nanites. That's fine. We need, definitely need the nanites. How many creatures have we discovered? Five of the six. What's the last one? Underground. It's always underground. So we got to find a really decent cave area that one will pop up in. Uh, north. Take a look around. Because I haven't looked around in a while. Nah, I don't think there's a third one there, so I'm just going to keep going. That looked really weird. Alright, on we go. Onward. Watch your jetpack. And, and splat. There we go. Good, we hit a surface just right. That doesn't happen to me. Set up straight. Posture. I need to have that in here. If I'm going to start adding those things in, I'm going to add one in that people remind me to check my posture and set up straight because I'm dying over here. Too old for me to be doing that kind of crap. Heptaloids. Alright. North is actually this way. We need to keep heading in that direction. Uh, let's take a quick peek. We'll go after you. Oh, look at everything pop in, right? Isn't that neat? How far away are you guys? Eh. We've got enough money right now. It's looking really, really good. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Thank you. Jetpack. Can't get this one, unfortunately. You know what, though? Can we build the advanced laser yet? No. No, we can't. We'll have to get the recipe for it. Okay, that's fine. Just wondering. Another double. What is going on with this? It's glitching out on us. Okay, that should give us some nanites. Let's see if we can get the other one. Or access the other one. There it is. Interesting. I don't think we can access the second one. It's, it's glitching out on us. They're literally so close together it thinks I've already removed everything from it. Alright. So we got two buried techs. This one. There we go. No digging required. And this one, which I think we're going to have to dig to get to. There we go. Okay. I hear ships or something, so I'm flying backwards. Oh, there is a platform over there. But I, oh, isn't that nice? There's two buildings right there, and I can't go to either one of them. 
very very sad we're in the right we're in the right direction though so I'm gonna to head to the left just a little bit and then we'll head back north so we want to get in that ley line hopefully we'll run into a ship all right what do we got all right life support good and hazard protection right okay Let's put you guys right next to each other uh, put you down here I know hazard protect that grief cut it out I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my tritium for now we're running really low on I, I don't need that I don't know maybe I should hang on to it I don't know hopefully we can find some place to sell it like we get a trader landing near us that'd be really really nice always got to keep an eye open for that because that's the only way you can sell this stuff yeah that's not what I was aiming for Yeah, we're good. Carry on. Long way. This way just a little bit, and then north, so we can stay on the ley line. Oh, that was not good. Let's try that again. Also, just as equally terrible. Try it again. Oh, it must be the hill. I hate this. I want to get some of that. It's just... We're going to need some life support. We can get some of the plants and everything like that, but you don't want to rely completely on plants because you may not end up with the right plant at the right time. What is that? Sack venom again? Yes, stay away from that. Okay. Up, 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 up. Oh, yeah, this is wonderful. I'm just going to crawl up the surface of this hill. Made it. Wow, that was terrible. Uh, let's see. Nothing I can see. We want to watch for graves as well as we go. Okay. Life support, I'll take it for now. There. That'll work for now. Grab that, grab that, grab that. Okay, good. Plat. I like to hit one of those surfaces one of these days, and he literally just hits it, and his hands are all outspread. Like, splat! And he just starts sliding down. Doesn't have to be damaging, just be funny. Okay, we got a building that way. We're gonna check it out and see what it is. Let's grab this buried tech first. And get chewed by, by something as I pass by. Do do do. Ah, more poop. Yay! Launch fuel. Fantastic. Just what I always wanted. Don't have a ship I can use it in, but thank you for that. This way. So far, so good. Everything's looking good. The game is still showing. Nothing's froze. That happened to me, uh, I think Wednesday night. I was streaming some Polya and my. and Twitch locked up. It, it still showed me. I was moving around in the camera and everything like that, but. The game was frozen. Even though I was still playing it, it looked fine to me. Okay, so we got a building out that way. I just want to check around because I don't want to miss anything. Okay. Splat. <laughs> plant. Grab plant. Those fire berries are very, very handy. Life support. No. Thermal protection falling. We're going to use a battery this time. Oh, one of these. So we... I'm going to stay away from that. I mean, we, we could access it, but it doesn't do anything for us. And there's probably someone near it, usually, but I don't see anybody. And I'll even leave the buried tech alone just to play it nice. Alright, but ley line. Head north. Uh, 
what do we got? Let's take a look around. Back the way we came. Okay. So this is north. We've got some buried tech over there. We've got quite a bit on us now that is worth worth money. I just need someone to land near me now. So we're going to start watching ships. Let's see, do I have any of these that are life support? Yes, I do. Gone. This is hazard protection. Over here. Pick it up. Thank you. More life support. Right there. Okay. Let's get up to the top of the hill. Whoops, stay away from you. I didn't grab it. There. Hello, floating eyeball. Moving on up. Hi guys. Any of you want to land? No? Okay. Always want to look around because you never know when they might just suddenly plop down in front of you. Huh. Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and charge that back up because it's really this I wanted to get going. A little unburied tech. And a singular unit. Heat protection would be nice. Let's see if the RNG will be happy with us. It's probably just going to give us nanites, though. Nanites. I'm going to get rid of the starship fuel so I can free up some inventory space anyway. Ooh, yeah, we are full, aren't we? Well, it's time to get rid of some other stuff. Let's get rid of the tritium. We don't need it right now. Life support. There. Hazard protection, good. Probably going to get rid of you next. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the cobalt as well. Alright, that looks good. I'm probably going to get rid of the rusted metal. I don't think we really need it. Hmm, salvage container or salvage container? I think we're going to do this salvage container. Nothing else around, right? Okay, moving on. I'm watching my jetpack very carefully. Good deal. I don't like running down a hill. Whee! Ooh. If I don't have an advanced lasers, that, that would really be nice. Ships flew over. Anybody landing? No? No, nobody wants to land. Nobody likes me. That way. Alright. So this is a three-tier one. I'm dig into the hill a little bit. Hopefully I don't get attacked. Ooh, that was a good idea. I'm going to have to remember that in the future. Is that Get them all really, really low, and then take them all three out at the same time. Nice! That is worth another 907. Okay, time to go. Hi, guys. Sorry, I'm leaving. Uh, where's north? I went the wrong way. What do you know? That is a good thing about them, is they cannot track you, so you just move on. Thank heavens. Also, also a pretty good haul on that one. That was good. Ooh, oxygen patch. Uh, we're going to use sodium this time, because it's a little bit too low. Interesting. How much sodium do I have? 121, about 129 oxygen. Let's take advantage of these patches. We can carry 300. So I can get about 170 from this patch. This will be a full boat of sodium then. Good. Excellent. About 140. Fantastic. Let's get the oxygen now. 
about the same, about 170. Hang on. 283, I think we'll get one more plan. Yep, 298. Okay, stop there so we don't fill up our inventory. Life support. Let's use up them. Okay, good. Moving on. North. North. And look. Got a building right in front of us. We got more, more salvage containers. That's tempting. Let's do it one more time because we do have the inventory to do it. We got one more space left, two spaces left. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to get rid of the ferrite dust and we'll grab that. All right. Uh, might be. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at the surroundings. Ooh, it's a good one. It's a really good one. Okay, we'll go this way. All right. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. So this is going to not be as worth as much money. Let's put it that way. Oh, crap. Let's go. It's a rusty plug. Just what I need. Alright, we're going to go up the hill, right? Because there was a building up here someplace. There, there it is. Alright, make sure I have it in my... Nope, don't grab it. I've got plenty of sodium. Nice to say that. Nice to say I have plenty of something, you know. Come on, up, up. Oh, you're going to do this to me, aren't you? A little bit higher. Come on. There we go. Let's see what this unknown building is. Crashed ship. Son of a biscuit eater. And nobody is near it. Fantastic. And is it what I think it is? Oh crap, it's a fighter too. Sweet. Nice! <laughs> Alright, so, uh, gee, how long was this one? Um, no, stay out of the distress beacon. I'm just going to leave. We're not going to do that. Stay out of the distress beacons. We can't touch that. Uh, but we can gather the stuff around it. We can do that, and I think my hazard protection is really low. Movement module again. Actually, get back in there. There. Got another movement module as well. Nice. Nice. Almost as good as the other one. We got plenty of money. This is fantastic. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to give you the, uh, the winning lottery numbers as well. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. There we go. All right, so we got that. There we go. By keen effigy. All right, let's take the ship. Wow. Everything's damaged. C class. I mean, you know. It's the lowest class. Looks like we have a little bit of inventory space. It's going to take quite a bit to bring it all back to life, but you know, maybe when we can find ourselves a different ship. But we just need some room in the inventory. We do have at least a little bit more shield strength, so at least that's something. We do want to get this fixed. I don't want to fly around without any shields. And the hyperdrive we're going to have to fix. We need processors. All right. Well, obviously, we can compare, and we're going to claim it ship is now ours okay and that means our old ship should be gone I don't think let me just check something I was wondering about that I don't think the other ship is here 
No, it's still there. So apparently you can't trade it in on your or swap it for your crash ship anymore. That must be something they fixed. If fix is what you want to call it. All right, how much uh, ferrite we got? We got enough. I got enough to put down a metal plate because I'm going to have to make some stuff. Uh, let's see. So we need pure ferrite. I'm going to need 50 of that. Okay. Don't forget to turn your laser back on. Now there should be... Yeah, there is. There is a cave nearby, which if we're fortunate enough, um, we will get a creature showing up sooner or later. And that'll be my sixth creature, and we can get uh, the nanite bonus from it. So that'll be good. Okay, just jump in here real quick while we do this. All right, so we want a metal plate. We want a dihydrogen jelly. I think. Yeah, that was it. Pure ferrite, dihydrogen jelly, that's done. Metal plate. I think we have enough for the hermetic seal. We do. Okay, so that part's done. We're going to need some sodium nitrate, of course, and chromatic metal. So we're going to need some copper. Okay. Yeah, we know. So let's get in the sodium nitrate going. There it is. And then we need to look for some copper. Uh, salt. Salt. Phosphorus. Salt. Phosphorus. Great, great, great. Good to know. Salt. Nice. Appreciate that. Hey, copper. About time. 611, huh? Anything a little bit closer than, you know... 562 is a little better. No. Okay. Well, I guess 562 is the best option we've got. Okay, so we're going to need quite a bit of it. Let's go ahead and fix part of it. And we're going to put some stuff in the ship right now because... Yeah. Um, I'm going to take that with me. These, I'm going to take that with me. We're going to put the silver in there. Because I just got a funny feeling. Get the right button here. That was my thermal protection. It's okay. Stop going in there. Um... And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm trying to determine if I need any of this stuff with me. If I get a trader that drops in on me, I'm going to want to sell a lot of this stuff, so. Okay, let's go. Probably should jump in the ship real quick. Yes, jump in the cave. I think that I can recharge better in the cave and maybe the animal will show up. And we'll take a look around and see if this animal shows up. It would be great to get that nan nanite bonus. It's probably only about 1,200, but still. It's better than nothing. All right, let's see what we got going on. No, no animals want to show up today. Critical exposure is climbing. The hazard protection, but slowly. I probably could have just jumped in my ship and did it, I guess. And still no creatures, huh? Sometimes they appear on the outside, so... Alright, well, we'll see if we can find them on the way. Sorry, I thought I saw something. Oh, it was that ship. Here to land? No? Okay. 
All right, Sugar Rat. Take care, man. Hope the work goes well for you. Excuse me. It got really, really dark, so the moon itself must be behind a cloud. Hard to see anything. I'm going to go ahead and grab this because I have a funny feeling I'm going to need it anyway. I don't have a lot of it, as you noticed. Okay, good. Just want to make sure I don't run into any sack venom on the way. That would be awful. That's how my other ran, uh, run land, ended up. It just I ran into some sack venom and killed me immediately. It was like, you gotta be kidding me. Uh. Okay, don't see anything. Good so far. And it's a terrible, terrible deposit. I don't think we're going to get enough out of this to do anything. Looking for the ships. There they go. Because you never know when one might land. Alright, well, it's something. We'll go ahead and grab it. There's going to be a lot of silicate in here as well. We'll get about a hundred out of this, probably. And we'll need a lot more. I'm going to need at least a few hundred of it to get things going. Because we also got to make antimatter and fuel and everything else under the sun here. I kind of wish I'd held onto the tritium right now, but that's okay. We don't need it. We will get it. We'll go out into space and get some. Oh, hello. That was close. Sure you were yelling at me. Sorry about that. Some of you are probably just about ready to say, Your hazard protection! After a while, she nags at you enough and you start ignoring her. So. I was talking about the hazard protection lady that's telling me that. So. Don't read into that. Alright, how we do? 245. It's not terrible. gonna give me... hold on, I know this. 45, so 120 something, which we need 50 and 63, so 113. It's enough to get us where we need to go, but it's not gonna be enough for everything else. So, yeah. We could fly somewhere else and look for some. Yeah, we already got rid of that launch fuel, didn't we? Feeling sore about that, too. And not everything is going to be great. But let's head back. Let's go ahead and do this, and we'll look for someplace else that we can get it from. Not a big deal. Just use it up. Oh, stay away from that. See the three stars? So you know what that is? That sack venom I was talking about. It's actually migrating over actually rolling over to me to try to take me out. I know it. Okay, just checking to see what we have out here. Okay. The ultimate would be to find ourselves, whoops, a sentinel ship if we can, but because those things don't require any repairs, as you know. That would be great. It's following. <laughs> That's okay. The launch thrusters should come at least partially charged. Hey, Snellius, thank you very much for following me. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. 
I'm going to have to change that tone. It makes me think there's a ship landing somewhere, and I realize that, oh no, that's just a person following me. Fabulous. All right, let's get in here and relax for a few moments. Yeah, I know the shield's down. Actually, I gotta get back out of the ship. And get into here. Okay. Inventory. We want to pull in the copper. There you are. Which we can only do at 150 a time. That's part of the limitations of the space that we have. Yep, yep. Gotta stretch, gotta stretch. Ugh. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Posture. Posture. Gotta get posture. Oh. Check messages. Yes. Very nice of her. My wife's out of town today. And she literally did just send to me. May the 4th be with you. And may it be with all of you. Awesome. So yeah, we've been talking a lot about Star Wars, haven't we? Not really. We should. It's hard to do when you're in these runs. Alright, so we can get our shield fixed now. Let's go ahead and do that. Let me get in the ship and do that. Not for long. There we go. Alright, so I need to move the shield. I'm going to put you over here so I can link that up with you and give you a little boost on the shield strength. really like to have this a lot higher, but for now, it'll work. Okay. Can we repair any of these? I don't think we can. Platinum, magnetized ferrite, and chlorine. Yeah, you're just giving me a headache just looking at it. I mean, some of these things we can make and everything like that. Activated copper is going to be fun to get. I don't think I can open up any of these spaces at all. I'm going to have to find a planet that has a ton of platinum on it. That's what I'll have to find. And up here, it's the same thing. So this will be a good starter ship to go with. Uh, we really need to get the weapons going, too. Yeah. 50 ferrite and 60 sodium. Let's do the rest of our chromatic metal. Copper, if you will. We'll finish that up. Another 40 seconds. We'll hang out in here while we're waiting. Okay. Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there. Getting to a point where we can um, take off and get out of here. Okay. Do -do -do. So we didn't walk far on the planet, that's for sure. It's a pretty decent planet as planets go. Um, it hasn't been killing me, so at least that's something. Take a look for those animals. Really would love to find that last animal. But we're going to fly around the planet a little bit. I'm going to see if I can't gather more resources. And we're going to want to make some launch fuel. Hey, you're done. Good. Uh, sodium, sodium, sodium. Okay. We need 30. Sodium nitrate. Very good. Let's get that going. So then we'll have some guns. At least something to protect ourselves with. Alright. Good deal. Good deal. Oof. Yeah, I tell you, the RNG's working well for me today, huh? So I think tonight, after I'm done streaming, I think it's going to be time to watch something. I'm thinking Rogue One is one of my favorite movies. I think I'm going to watch that. And just give it a good Star Wars. Star Wars night, I think, would be fantastic. Um, what else do we need? Pure ferrite, right? I need 50. Pure ferrite. I'll need more ferrite as time goes by. Maybe we can strafe a little bit and pick up some more ferrite that way. Wish I had better guns to do that with, but we'll do it with what we got. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we are finally at a spot that we can get this ship off the ground. Uh, let's fix it while we're here. Hold on. 
All right, and that frees up space in our inventory. So we can actually move that now, but we are at 100% on our launch thrusters, but it will take probably 50% to take off. So that's going to take some take some doing. Um, let's see what it's going to take to make some of these things. Uh, so the first thing is launch fuel. Well, antimatter shouldn't really require too, too much. I can make one, so we can leave the system at some point. Antimatter housing requires ferrite dust. We're going to need a bunch of ferrite. Let's look for some copper. I want a lot more chromatic metal. Um, yeah, launch fuel, metal plating, and dihydrogen. Okay. Yeah, 30% on the launch thrusters. That's good. We now have ourselves a viable ship. Yay! Nope, can't gather that. Of course I can't. I don't want to go too fast. And the view screen on this is terrible. What we need to find is we need to find... Oh, I don't want to gather up that structure. I'll just be attacked by... Sentinels in orbit and be the end of the run. Thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't get those crystals either. That is what I'm looking for. All right, let's slow down. Let the procedural generation occur. That might be... No, I don't think that's copper at all. These surfaces usually contain a lot of rocks, but my rocks are having a little bit of a hard time coming in. There we go. Easy, 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 easy. Don't hit the ground. Got a little dihydrogen out of that. Oh, it overheated. There we go. Just harvesting. Good. Got it. All right. Now let's look for some copper. I think we got enough stuff to keep us going for a little bit. The ship hovers better. Oh, it hovers better than I would expect to. But, you know, nothing beats a Sentinel ship as far as that's concerned. All right, let's go outside the ship. Oh, there's copper right there. And a good deposit, too, it looks like. Itchy nose. Sorry. All right. It is definitely copper. Don't want you guys near me. Okay. Uh, let's see how much of this we can get, because we're going to need a lot of chromatic metal. I'm going to gather up about 75 to start with and get it processing in the refiner immediately. There we go. Mm -hmm. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, let me see. Do we have... I need more. I need a lot more of that. A lot more carbon is what I'm needing. Doo -doo -doo. This is the boring part. digging a little too far through but I want as much of this as possible because we're going to need a lot of, a lot of the stuff as we go I want about 600 copper I think how much do we have are we getting stuff in our starship or something we only got 250 
I really thought we would have a lot more of it at this point. I must be missing it. Hold on. All right, let's take a look. So that's 300 there. Interesting. I th really thought we'd have a lot more. Do that while we can. This is a pretty good deposit. I wouldn't expect a lot of it to be... Eh. Well, we're gathering what we can. Like I said, I was hoping to get about 600 out of this deposit, but we'll see what happens. There we go. That looks pretty good. Is that full yet? Just about? How's my life support doing? Good. Free up some inventory space. All right. Yeah, just drop it in. I do 150 at a time. So this is, like I said, this is the boring portion of things. This is where we it takes some time to get all the stuff that we need. So, you know, good time to run to the restroom. Good time to grab yourself a cup of coffee, a drink, a sandwich. Uncrustable, which seems to be very common. I don't know why. I think those things are nasty, but that's besides the point. Convenient, just nasty. There we go. Yeah, I know my protection's falling. Alright, I think that's enough. How'd we do? Really? Come on. Alright, yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, we should get plenty of chromatic metal out of this. Alrighty. Land? 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 Please? No? Ah. You can only hope. Let's grab that while we're here. Is that thing still running? Yes, it is. We're going to need some more carbon. We have no choice in the matter. The other 150 in. Get it going. I'm going to grab this while I'm here. There we go. There we go. Nice. Alright, good. That gives us a good amount of dihydrogen. Got some oxygen. How do we do on the ferrite? Let's check it. Nice. Got a full stack and then some. I'll put this in my main inventory. And the dihydrogen with it. Okay, good. Very nice. How much silicate do we have? We've got a lot. Let me just charge this thing up all the way. And we'll get rid of the rest. Alright, looks good. Now if we could just get someone to land near me. Hi. Want to trade? Don't shoot the ship. They will fire on you. You will die. I've even had my most powerful weapons. I, I sit there and I try to shoot at these ships as they fly overhead and they keep passing over and passing over and shooting at me. Can never take them down. Can't even get their shields gone. One of these days. Oh, just finished that run. Let's go ahead and pick up some stuff. Yeah, copper, 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 copper. Two more runs of copper and we'll be done with this. So we want to keep some copper, so we'll do one more. We'll do this run and that's it. And I'm going to put this in my ship inventory. Uh, how are we doing on chromatic? We're going to put that in the ship inventory as well. All right, looking good. It's a little disorganized in here. Not like I really would rather have it, but it is what it is. Uh, oxygen is important. All right, we need some carbon. 
Need some carbon. We're in the wrong spot to pick up carbon, but... Use some sodium that time, just because. Yeah, there's like no plants near here. But that's going to be doing it for a while. Boink. <laughs> Gotta get the jump just right. Gotta be careful there. Hey, condensed carbon. Excellent. It's even better. I keep hearing ships flying over, so we must be near something. If I can just get one of those guys to land, it'd be better. Alright, here we go. Uh, gosh darn it all. <sighs> Finally find some plants I can take out, and I gotta get you showing up. Let's go over here. Almost shot him. I'm not worrying about analyzing right now. I just want to get the carbon out of him and get out of here. Alright, how we doing? 100. I forgot that you can go to some of those... Um, ancient structures. Ancient structures you can go to because they're not tied into the network. They are a separate entity and are against the Atlas and the authorities and everything like that. So you can go to them and occasionally you'll get an upgrade. So that's something we can do. Okay. How we doing? Almost 300. Good, good, good. Alright. We'll get back to the ship before we run out. And there we go. Oh, Linky Pro. Good to have you here. Thank you for joining us. Got it. Made it. All right. Let's see what our inventory looks like. Wrong button. All right. So we got 37 over there. I'm going to move the... Wait, what? Should have a lot more than that. There it is. 300. 337 over there. Yeah, I love this inventory. It's just all over the place. Put you down here. Put you down here. I'm going to keep the chromatic metal together. We do need to make some launch fuel. Let's make that. And some antimatter. We need metal plating. Okay, so let's do a metal plate. Uh, I'm going to make two of those. Yeah, okay, good. And we're going to make two launch fuels. So we have them. We need to make some hyperdrive. One, two and antimatter. Good. So that's going to give us our warp cell. Good. We still have yet to fix that. What's required? Three microprocessors. We have the chromatic metal. Let's go ahead and put it in there. And microprocessors are going to take, as you know, let me see here. I believe just carbon nanotubes. Oh, wait a minute. Do we even have the recipe? Ah, we don't even have Okay, that's not good. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have to look for stuff. Um, we can normally find them in cargo containers, so I'm gonna find a nicer area to drop my ship down into rather than this mountainous mass that we're on right now. And we'll plop down and get someplace nicer. A little more level, like that plateau down there. And we'll take a look around for some cargo containers and stuff like that, because that's about the only way we're going to find anything. Okay. Got an oxygen grouping there. I'm going to grab some more. I need 100, just under.
That's it. Okay. And then we want to find Argo. Like that. Not buried. Buried cash may give us money. That's a landing platform. Unbelievable. Yeah, don't really need that. Unknown building. More buried cash. You gotta be kidding me. There's no cargo containers laying around here. I always find the good spots. <laughs> so we'll be gathering stuff up as we go, but we're gonna need definitely need some cargo containers. Oh, I need some condensed carbon, so let's head over here and we'll grab some. Hey, look, a cargo container. Tell you, man, it's just it's just toying with me sometimes. If you set off some time to collect a bunch of uranium, that's a lot. Of, oh, I know, I know. Got to find a planet with it, though. Look at that microprocessor. Fantastic. So now you know why we're after this stuff. Up. Berry cash, berry cash, berry cash, berry cash, berry cash, berry cash. I don't want berry cash. Hey, the little eyeball. Do you know where there's any stuff? You know what? We can get some money, though. I like that idea. Um, how are we doing? Okay. We'll need some life support. Do we have a gel in there? Do we? Yes, we do. Okay, we're all right. One life support unit ought to do fine. Just looking for some cargo containers that are not showing up on my radar. Is that, it? Is that all? Yep, yeah, okay, good. Sodium nitrate would be great, but I don't have a mining beam I can use for that. Yep, get. Thank you. Alright, so here we are. So let's get the... Okay. Go this way? That should be enough. Hmm. Alright, well we pissed off the other sentinel instead, rather than the corrupted one. Great. Okay, just got an unusual plug. Okay, investigate. Doo -doo -doo, as long as you're not attacking. Alright, investigation's already over. Fantastic. Okay, let's look for that uh, not buried cache. We still don't have any glyphs. Alright, so we're going to do a little traveling around here, on foot. We're not looking for sack venom, but you know it's going to find us. <sighs> yes, yes, I know, Mom, I know. Yes, Mother, I've charged it up. Let's head towards that structure. I'm not going to actually go to the structure, but I just want to circle around. Hey, maybe we can get a trader to drop in on us. Wouldn't that be nice? Plenty of plants everywhere. Whoa, hello. Slow down, pal. Children at play. <laughs> I know, I saw the condensed car, but I'm not worried about it. I doubt anybody's going to land near, near me that we're this close to a trading platform. They're probably not going to drop down. 
We do have to sell this stuff eventually. I just don't know how in the world we're going to get rid of it. Let's head towards the buried cache. I don't think it's going to help us any, but we'll head up there. All these wonderful plants are everywhere nearby. Hello. Oh, crap. There we go. Okay. Ah, oh, look at this. Dotting the landscape. Um, no, I wasn't trying to offer you food. Sorry. I... Excuse me. So I don't... Uh, I feel bad. I was just saying hi. Okay, honestly. Uh, let's see. Oh, what that? Very cash, of course it is. What that? Very cash. Really? Everything's got buried cash? Everything? Just want to find a couple more containers. Please. It is what it is. In case you weren't aware, my thermal protection is falling. What is that mess? Okay, good. What that? Floating crystals. Yeah, you're just dangling that in front of me. Grab some of that while we're here. One twenty six, that's okay. Gives us what we need. It's amazing how much buried cash is around here. And I can't find it in certain other instances when I'm doing stuff. I could go to the platform and find stuff, but we need at least Oh boy. Good. Alright, that worked. I swear it's doing this purposely. They probably said, you've had enough luck for one day. We're just going to take it all away. Sorry. Eh, grab it. Alright, what do we got? A heat shield upgrade would be kind of nice. Nanites, okay. That'll work. Hey, you thunder. Take care. Thank you for joining me for, for, you know, the duration. I appreciate you. I will still be on, but check me out over on YouTube. I'll probably be over there. Eh, get one of those places. 39 seconds till exposure. Alright, let's head back to the ship. I think we're going to end up having to go somewhere else because I got to find at least two more. You know what? We don't have to be on this planet. I keep forgetting that. We don't have to stay here. Kind of dumb. I know we're sticking to this planet the whole time and we're like, wait a second. Maybe we could find a nice planet in the area. I mean, it is permadeath mode, but you can hope. Is that? Hmm. I'll check the yellow container. Nothing found, yeah. But I'll grab the rest of the stuff. I'm going to use some oxygen on my next run here as my life support drops because that must be the walking milestone, yes. That's all I'm getting from you, okay. Because I think I have too much oxygen on me, yeah, 308, so. Now it's a weird thing to say, but there you are. Which story mission is this from Linky Pro? Linky Pro, this is the... Um, Fugitive run from Beeblebum. So if you check Beeblebum out on Discord and you look at his channel, he has the rules and everything like that for the fugitive run. This is what, uh, level three? Level four? Level four, I think it is. Yeah. This is the level four hard mode. He has easy, medium, 
No, it must be level three. Easy, medium, hard, and then two levels of extra hard. So, hello, I exist once again. <laughs> there has to be an evil laugh in there as well. I think that's kind of like uh, Palpatine, now that I think about it. I exist once again. All right, let's head into space. Let's get the alert that we have left the planet. We're going to pulse drive just a little bit. We can't go to the space station. There we go. Now let's start scanning the planets. Salvageable scrap there as well. Cactus flesh. It's an abandoned planet. Okay. Let's go over here. This one doesn't look too promising either. Selenium, copper, phosphorus, silver, scalding planet. So a hot planet. That one is cactus flesh. It'll be hot. Is there a pattern here? Overgrown. Okay, so not really a paradise planet. Probably got to have superheated storms there. Lock in better when you're in first person mode. Cold. Upper dioxide. I could use dioxide. That's a very good thing to... That's not what I was trying to do. Very good thing you can do. Uh, let me go back to first person and take a look around because I want to see if there's any other planets here besides the one I just left. So here's the one I just left. It doesn't look like there are any others. Okay. So I'm going to head towards that cold planet. There. There'll be blizzards and stuff like that, but the dioxide is worth my time. All right. And the system is perilous, so I may get into get into it with uh, pirates and stuff like that. So I got to keep my eyes open here. Ship be small. Yeah, well, you know it is. Nice day for fourthing around. <laughs> well, thank you, Star Duster Gal. Nice to have you here. Thanks for joining us today. Appreciate it. So that's why I figured I'd play at least a space space game. I've got four different Star Wars games I could play, but uh, No Man's Sky is always my go-to game. And I'm going to be doing that over here. We might as well give it a give it a run through. Uh, looks like it is streaming pretty well. Now, did it freeze up on you guys over there? I don't think it did. It looks like it's broadcasting right now. Oh, I see what's going on. Much better. Okay. My view over here froze up, so that was me. It got grainy. It gets grainy when it's doing this. When you're in pulse drive, it gets really grainy. It's just the way it is. Nice. Right in the middle of the continent. Now we could... No, we can't. All right, so we want to keep an eye open on a bunch of stuff. We can also look for crashed ships um, while we're here. I'm going to slow down. Oh, yeah, if you get too many screens going at the same time, there is that. Not freezing, but pixelated. See if this works. Is it working a little better now? I'm sure it is. Because once I slow down and the graphics aren't as intense, it doesn't get as pixelated. Because I'm supposedly broadcasting at 1080, and it looks like at 60 as well, just about 60. All right, let's land right here. This looks fine. Love the angle. It's going to give me a neck sore here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The pulse drive does. I usually try to put in a mod that gets rid of the pulse drive lines, but I haven't done it yet. Uh, this is not a. Hold on a second. Not you. Sentinels are unwavering. Okay, but as long as they're not mad. I'm going to try to grab some of that while he's all the way over there. Okay. Grab some heptaloid wheat. Good. Okay. So he's not attacking, attacking. Good. Alright, we're safe. Uh, how many creatures are on this planet? 
The more I can get, the better. Two of nine, okay. And we got some in the water, I'm sure. Get out of the way. I'm trying to get this guy. Three, okay. Oh, excuse you. Sorry, didn't mean to be in your way, pal. Another flying, one, two, three, four underwater, and one underground. I hate the underground ones. You can never find them. Okay. So, I'm looking for... Cargo containers. Yeah, like right over there. Let's go to the health restorative and see what it's got for me. There we go. Green boxes. Microprocessor. That's what we're hoping for. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Let's try to get because my inventory's full. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of you. And what are you? Hazard protection? Perfect. Something I don't really need. Okay. Let's get closer to the ship and drop some of these things in there because they're just annoying me. There we go. That should do just fine. Alright, gives me four inventory slots open. Who's next? Uh, let's see. Already hit that one. Hey, Van Prey? Vanper. Vanper72. want to thank you very much for for following. I appreciate that. It's all going to be fun and games over here. We're just playing. Just for the joy of playing. What are you? Buried cash. What's with the buried cash? Why? 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 I just went in a hole. That's why. Like, where did the ground go? Love when that happens. All right. I'm going to get some more of the condensed carbon, because we can always use that. There we go. Moving on. I know my thermal protection is falling, Mom. Cut it out. God. Is that dioxide? It sure is. Remember, I wanted to grab some of this. About 300 ought to do. This is a huge deposit, too. This is really good. I don't like Sentinel Shits. I prefer fighters. Hey, that's no problem. I like fighters, too, to be honest with you. I got a few. Um, on my, you know, on my main saves, that is. Uh, including the ones I've built. Uh, what's the fighter I like the most? These fighters are pretty good. Don't get me wrong. Um... That's a heavy-duty fighter, which is a little more protected. They got better shields and stuff like that. So this will be a good one for the run. The Sentinel ships are great at hovering, and that's the best thing I like about them. It's not just the speed. It's the hovering ability that I like the most. So. There's nothing like a good exotic ship. I like this, the tiny little golf ball-sized ones. Those are really nice. Uh, my Sunrunner is pretty cool. Sunrunner? Is that it? I do like that. I got my Golden Vector still, as far as fighters are concerned. Alright, what are we up to? Almost. Watching the amount, sorry. 97. 99. 300. And while we're here, let's do that. There we go. So see, it only used four. I love it. All right, let's move on. I need to find cargo drop. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, good. Bounce. Let me just look over here real quick. I think that was a buried cache, was it? Yeah, that's all that was. Off we go. Squid exotics. I don't mind it. I I had a squid exotic for a long time on my first main save. And it just never, never really caught me. Didn't really, you know, I was like, ah, that's pretty cool, but nah. Yes. Okay. That's two. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to make that into a life support gel. Good. 
All right, so we're up to two. Did we have three yet? I didn't put it over here, did I? No, I didn't. Okay, so we need one more. All right, one more. Hello, what are you? There we go. All right. Ah, just went up to two. Okay, we'll use the sodium on this one. We could use more sodium, so we'll take a look around for that. Uh, damage machinery. We'll definitely go there. Okay. There we go. As you never know, they might have an upgrade for us. Or Starship Launch Fuel, which is also good. Uh, what's our inventory look like? Yeah, not good. Uh, hazard protection. What? And life support. I can actually get rid of that now. I don't need it, so I can clear that inventory. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of it. We don't need it. Alright. So at least this one spot open. finding myself grabbing my mustache because it's getting too long. Time to trim up. Doesn't know what to do with all that. Let me let that recharge and I'm going to use one of these flowers to get up the uh, slope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Investigate your heart out. Knock yourself out, buddy. We're already gone. Now I really ought to check to see how much condensed carbon I have in my inventory. There we go. Yeah, we're doing pretty good on it. Alright, good. That buried cash again. Uh, buried minerals, which are worth a lot if you if you're good, but ah, I still don't have the inventory space to keep it uh, keep it up. Plants, 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 plants. Running out of inventory space, so I got to be careful of that. All right, what do we got? Is that? Buried cash, of course it is. Let's go grab some damaged machinery. Ah, uh, let's see. What other ships? I don't really have. I don't like haulers. There's one ship I really don't particularly care for. I'm going to use the two for now because it's just annoying me. Okay. They're too clunky. They got a lot of room and everything like that. It would have been great to find one, but, you know, it's just... Nah. And I'm not picking up the berry tech because I really can't afford it right now. Again, inventory space issues. Build the hauler just so I have one in my collection. I don't fly it often. You know what it's also good for? As much as, you know, I must take to say this out loud, but it's good for extra cargo space. That's basically it. So if you got a freighter and you got your ten cargo containers and you've been playing for hundreds and hundreds of hours, you start finding you're running out of room anyway. Because you're trying to gather up as many resources as you can keep your hands on. And it gets to the point where you just need extra space to put some stuff. So you, if you have a hauler in your inventory with that huge inventory space, that's what you end up using for extra space. It's not a bad idea. Okay, buried, and I'm assuming buried, yes. Buried crystal. I just need one more, folks. Come on. Uh, let's see. I really don't feel like taking off and landing somewhere else. So many planets I run into, and you're tripping over these things everywhere you go.
I think I've already been this way. So, yeah. I don't think we have much of a choice. Alright. It is what it is. It's no big deal. Yeah, we'll be back to the ship in a moment. I'm not going to bother with it. Alright. So let's... How's my fuel look? Not look. Not looking good. So, let's move elsewhere. Maybe someplace a little bit... Oh, you know what? Let's head towards a coast. Hey, no problem, Cyvortex. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. appreciate you being here. And thanks for joining the whole uh, crew over here, too. It's been absolutely a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And we're going to go over here. It's almost 1 o'clock Eastern time right now. Uh, let me get to a different point here. So in about, say, 10, 15 minutes, we're going to pause. And we're going to re-pick up over on YouTube. And I'll give you guys the link to my YouTube channel so you can jump over there. I wanted to double stream this. I wanted to stream here and YouTube at the same time, but it didn't work. Sandwich. Absolutely. Gotta have your Sammies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Ignore the message. We're going to have to answer it. It's going to keep bothering us. It's going to be like Dreams of the Deep or something like that. It's not really important. But we'll need to get rid of it or else it's just going to occupy our display on our ship. And we don't want that. It doesn't mean we're activating the mission in any way. So that's not a cheating point. And drop. There we go. All right, because I want to get into the water here and check things out. Cash. Cargo drop, finally. Ooh, both containers. Hopefully one of them will give me my third microprocessor. Life support gel is good, I don't mind. Ammunition and microprocessor, fantastic. So we, now we can repair our hyperdrive. Fabulous. Where is it? Beautiful. Good luck. Good luck. That was good. All right. And then we have some warp cells we can drop in. So that's good. All right. We're in good shape. <laughs> that's darn extended warranty people. <laughs> they drive me nuts. <laughs> Okay, now we're really going to put things to the test. We did. We needed chlorine, didn't we? Oh yeah, now we're getting really cold and really fast. You know what we can grab? We can grab some of those um, pearls and they can turn into gold. Three. We're going to get all four? Almost had it. Oh, it's inorganic. There it is. Four. Is that it? Four? So the only one left is the underground dude. Okay. Which is going to be the hardest ones to get. So, we're going to go ahead and recharge our hazard protection. And a little trek. Hi, were you able to do the weekend mission today? Yes, I actually did. I did it as the first thing just to get it out of the way. I actually posted it on YouTube, if you want to check my YouTube channel out. little trick there, by the way, guys, to get your living pearls. Just go into first-person view. You don't have to shoot them. And they don't injure you in any way. So I'm going to grab a couple of those living pearls. I don't, I'm don't. i not going to sell them. I'm going to turn them into gold. Good! And then we're going to surface when we get this last one. Whoa! <laughs> that was really close. Oh, good grief. Alright, plants. 
who has okay, condensed carbon. I'm looking for life support. Life support. I'll use my oxygen for now because I don't want to use both of them. Oh, you know what? Dioxide will work. There we go. I'm looking for... Yeah, see, that's just going to provide oxygen. Um, That one. Need chlorine. I don't think we're going to find it out here. I was hoping to find some chlorine, but I don't think we have any. Organic objects, maybe they'll have it. Ah! Of course. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to get it from here. We can always get it elsewhere. I don't really need it, need it. It's just as a thought process. I was thinking maybe I could use it higher. So yeah, the weekend mission, I was able to do it on this run here. Wow, it's really dropping fast. Um, let's go ahead and use it both. Where's my ship? And that, by the way, where's my ship, is a very common thing you'll hear me say all the time. Um, I'm still in first person, aren't I? Yeah, there we go. Come on, stop skipping across the water like a, like a rock. There we go. Ah, that guy. What about you? carbon. Alright. Let's just get out of here. So we need to find... I would love to find that one last creature in a cave. But I get a feeling I'm not going to be able to. So on my YouTube channel we should really post that again. Do that over here. So here's the YouTube channel folks. So you can check it out over there. I come out with that video every Friday night so you can check it out and see what's involved. There's a button here someplace. There it is. Okay. Alright, so we are in pretty good shape. Um, I would love to get some chlorine. I got some dioxide, so we're good there. Is there anything else I need? Let me jump in my ship and think about this for a minute. And then we'll probably be taking a break. You know what? Let me answer the, the call real fast because they're going to drive me nuts otherwise. Remaining silent. Continue to remain silent. End transmission. Good. We don't have to worry about it now. I see. What did it do? Yeah, we're not doing that. Okay, we're done. So. So the video here is way behind the audio right now. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't think there's going to be a way for me to fix that either. Unless, no, no, that's, that's a YouTube problem. Really? I wonder how I would pause and then restart the broadcast. I don't think we can do that. Let's find out. See, I'm learning new things today. Yeah, I know I'm recording it. It's not a problem. Yeah, can't do it. Won't let me. Ooh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we can't do that. Okay, we're out of there. Well, that's okay, actually, because what we're about to do is we're going to be stopping here in just a moment. And we can't go to a space station or anything like that. So we're going to actually be pausing it here. Oh, you did it to fix it for your viewing. 
Oh, so you refreshed over there. See, what happened to me is I was looking over here earlier, and I noticed that my video was, was messed up, so I had to exit the stream and then restart up the stream, because I always monitor it on, on a cell phone or something like that. So, but you might want to try that, Marani, see if just doing a refresh on it does the trick for you. Um... So where are we in the stream of things here? Let me just check something. I don't think we have anything else to do. We're about to do an autosave when we jump out of the ship and we'll pause here. I want to find that last stinking animal. Let me go see if I can find a cave. Nah, too close to the water. That cave won't work. We'll just head inland in this direction. We're going to keep an eye on the ground because you never know when you might run across a crash ship or something like that, which just means money later on. Although I don't haven't figured out how Beeblebum does that because he finds a way to sell the ships. He has to get into the space station in his other ship, switch over while he's in the space station, which is okay. You can do that a lot better now with the latest updates. So maybe that's what we'll do. Anyway, moving on. cloud. Seeing things. Alright, this should be high enough, so we could just find a cave at this point. You know what? One of those little places usually has like a, a not a landing platform so, so much, but even a mine near a trading post or something like that usually has a cave nearby that's almost always big enough so like we don't have to go use the landing pad here as long as there's a cave nearby we can go into because we're not utilizing the structure in any way yeah I don't see a cave here yeah I noticed that but we can't use the anomaly either believe it or not So that's one of the rules, Faith Base Quick, unfortunately. Faith Base Quack, sorry. Um, is this particular gameplay, I'm not allowed to use, utilize the anomaly in any way. Fortunately. I can't even go to a space station. The only ones I can go to are um, pirate stations, and I have to have a solar ship to go there. But like, but like I said, they've changed in the latest update. The latest orbital update allows you to change out your... your ship inside of a space station now. Okay. Sunrise. What a pretty sunrise. So this will probably be one of the last things I do because I really would like to get some nanites. I wanted to use all the upgrades I got rather than the ones, you know, that uh, I would keep in my inventory and sell, but... The hardest part is, is, is selling, is being able to get to a point where you can sell to somebody. Alright, looks like we got a cave near this one, so let's land over here. Wow, it just kinda just dropped out of the sky there, huh? So we're just gonna go over here... and keep our eyes open real quick. Hopefully, it will procedurally generate the creature that exists in a cave, or underground, as the case may be. All the flyers are out, of course. And we'll look around me, because you never know, they could be crawling around the outside. It's going to give me grief, isn't it? Might as well take advantage of having the cave there. That way we can wait for it to show up while we're here. See? There you go. There you go. This might be a good one. Where are you? You're over there. 
Aha! Gotcha. Perfect. Hello, Countess Mouse. That would be April. Good to have you here. Thank you for joining us today. All right. So I can now get my 2,259 night bonus. Yay! Hi there. It's good to have you. Thank you for joining us today. April and uh, several others, actually, that are here today are actually on my YouTube channel. Um, and they have uh, decided to join the channel as well, which I really, really appreciate. Thank you very much. Um, so we are good here. We have got our um, nanites that we wanted to get. We've discovered all the creatures on this planet. We're ready to move on. So this is going to be kind of weird, um, April, but um, we're about to shut down the stream here. We've been streaming for just about four hours now, and we're going to go jump over to YouTube and do the rest of the stream over there. And I've got to get everything set up, of course, and get it going here. If you get a freighter, all ships will be on it. Yes, but I'm not allowed to have a freighter either. So let me go over that real quick. Um, where is it? Fugitive. Rules. You're running from the law. You can decide for yourself what background story you wish to add as to why and if you are innocent or simply trying to avoid punishment for your crimes. After being chased down by the Galactic Authority, they manage to damage your ship, that's your starter ship, and you are forced to crash land on a planet. Your ship is torn to shreds and unrepairable, and even if it looks like you could, you know, it could not have survived this. And even as it looks like you could not have survived this, but you're alive anyway. The Galactic Authority is guarding the crash zone, so you can go nowhere near it or its resources. So you need to find a way to escape the planet, which we have, stay undetected and travel towards the galactic center. So we've got to get to the center of the system, go through the center, which means we'll reappear in a new galaxy, and in that way we will have escaped the authorities. So we have to leave Euclid, and that's the ultimate goal. Permadeath or extreme difficulty, everything's set to maximum. Only way to obtain blueprints is by turning off tutorial. So that's where we are. We can't dupe, glitch, or save scumming. Um, the starter ship completely destroyed and thus cannot be used in any way and has no value. But to avoid having the starter ship in your, in your list, you, normally you'd, you'd swap it out. But Hello Games has changed it a little bit where you can't swap it out for the crash ship that you found. So you still keep it in your inventory. Um, just don't sell it. Don't use it. Don't utilize it in any way. Um, you cannot follow any storylines. You cannot visit the anomaly. You have to avoid anything that has connected to the galactic network as well. So you can't land at space stations, trading posts, any planetary archives, any buildings at all, outposts, observatories, shelters, transmission towers, uh, factories, it should say, none of them. Galactic trade terminals, you have to stay away from those, those little balls that you find on the planet somewhere. And you have to stay away from freighters, crashed freighters, and you can't own one as well. So that's the main rules here. So you're really restricted as far as to what you can do. You are allowed to trade with any pilots who land near you or any pilot that contacts you in space. They're considered outlaws in their own right. Traffic in and out of an outlaw station is only possible with a solar ship. Those are the pirate stations. Abandoned buildings you can land at and use, but you can only use them if you clear out all the whispering eggs first. Uh, abandoned system stations you can land at and use one time. You can trade at the terminal there, everything there. You can do anything you want, but as soon as you leave the station, you have to leave the system immediately. Um, planetary portal. You can use the planetary portal to travel to closer to the center of the galaxy, but you have to have eight of the 16 glyphs in order to do that. So I've got to find travelers. Uh, graves. That's going to be a lot of fun, which means walking around a lot of planets. The best thing to do for that one is to find a decent sized system with moons. Land on a moon and wander around the moon. You can usually find graves a little better that way. It's going to take some time. Otherwise, we're going to be jumping 300 times to get to the center. It's going to take forever. Um, base building. You can do bases, but you only can do it in a pirate system, an empty system, or an abandoned system. And it can only be done inside of a cave. Uh, let me see. Uploading discoveries. You're allowed to upload discoveries like, just, like I just did. Uh, it's not considered part of the Galactic Network because it's part of the No Man's Sky Network itself. Um, you can do mission under a rebel star. You can start it just to get to a pirate system, but that's it. Everything else is, you don't, you don't continue on. And if you break any of these rules, I have to scrap the ship I have, 
use whatever ship is left in my inventory, I have to fight Sentinels and a Sentinel Dreadnought all the way through to the end before I'm allowed to leave the system. And that doesn't end usually very well. So there's all the rules. All right. That's your checking out. I'll catch you over on YouTube when you switch over. Excellent. Thank you very much, April. Appreciate that. S4 Kex Delta. If you get a freighter, all ships will be on. Yes, yes. That's what I was talking about. That's what I was talking about. Right, of course. So that's the reason why I was answering that. So I want to thank you all for being here today. We're going to go ahead and exit the ship real quick and get a save point. We're going to exit the ship real quick. There we go. Save point saved. And we're going to exit to the main menu. And there we go. All right, so we're all set over here. I'm sorry that everything was a little bit out of funky there, but we want to thank you all for watching. So ending my stream here on Twitch, thank you so much for being here. Everybody who's hit the follow button, thank you. Really appreciate it. Probably going to continue to do some work over here. Wednesday nights is still going to be my Palia night. I may not do it every Wednesday. I'm not interested in worrying about becoming an affiliate or anything like that with Twitch. I'm just interested in playing games and enjoying the time spent with people. That's what we're doing here. So we're going to join you guys over there. Um, holy moly, in permadeath mode, it wouldn't last 10 minutes. If you check the whole thing, Starduster Gal, look at all six, six levels I think he has in there. Level six is insane. No HUD. No HUD challenge. So you have to find anything viewing it. And that includes flying your ship and everything like that. So you won't be able to find any of the pirate ships that are flying around you unless you have eyeballs on them. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. So... Join me over on YouTube. Uh, it is a quarter after one right now, Eastern Time, so 15 minutes past the hour, if you will. Let's pick this up in about 15 to 20 minutes. i got to get everything set up over on YouTube. I'm going to grab a quick bite to eat and you know get, get hydrated and dehydrated, if you understand. And we'll see you guys in just a little bit. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Take care.